Hello. Hopefully it's all working. How are we doing? Give me a shout and let me know all's working. Having mic trouble earlier, so hopefully that's not a problem now. It was one of these uh, meetings, Microsoft Teams or whatever it was, and my mic just did not want to start. Uh, anyway, uh, where are we? Hello there. The man, the myth, the legend that is Grant. Hope that makes sense. Abbott. <laughs> <laughs> is that a catchphrase? It must be. Yeah, hope that makes sense. Yeah, that is. I do say that a lot, don't I? Oh, no. Sound working okay? Um, are we all good? Hopefully we're all surviving. <laughs> uh, I am modelling Reef Shark. Uh, a Reef Shark or just Reef Shark? Special character I don't know of. Cool. Uh, I think Frank's suddenly, suddenly in the live stream soon, ha. Huh? <laughs> Hopefully we're all good. So you can see behind me. I've got uh, Burke, I think his name is. I had to look that up, Burke, from Trapdoor. And as as most people pointed out, uh, Trapdoor, uh, was it a BBC? I think it was BBC, wasn't it? I think it's Ardman actually. It really, um, it, it seems like Ardman, doesn't it? The, the character style, the plasticine and all that sort of thing. So that's what we're going for today. Um, now, um, this is a follow along session. So you're meant to follow along with me. Uh, the only thing is, <laughs> <laughs> now I did this one as a sculpt and then I thought afterwards uh, and that that's what I sort of advertised this as I think did I put that in the description somewhere I think I said did I say about sculpting uh, let me know and uh, so I was thinking yeah this this is a nice fun sculpt uh, and he looks kind of cute didn't he um, but then I realized it's actually a lot easier to just model this and uh, I can't I thought I oh, will have a sort of sculpting session uh, and then I just th sort of looked for cute characters that we could do and then I started building this and I thought oh it looks just like Burke from Trapdoor um, and then I started making Burke from Trapdoor but I was sculpting uh, and really in reality uh, it, this is a model you should be modeling with subdivision service and not sculpting so uh, let me know what you want to do um, so shout out sculpt if you want to sculpt shout out uh, subdivision surface um, just SS subdivision surface <laughs> Uh, it's cute. Looks like egg, egg. <laughs> yeah, it, it's got an egg-shaped body, which is cool, isn't it? Oh, I'll turn that off. That's loud. Uh, let me just sort that one out. So whilst you're deciding um, what you want and shouting out, um, I'll turn that off. SS SS sculpt. So we got one sculpt more. Yeah. To be fair, we should be subdivision surface seeing it <laughs> box modeling i should say but then adding a subdivision service modifier and we want this to be ready for games because that's the whole idea we're, we're trying to get ready for games getting game ready models um so um yeah it's it's let's i'm just going to count them up i think most people Ooh, are saying well, thank you very much oh thanks very much who was that i didn't even see who that was um yeah Sony Horizons, Sony Horizons, there we go, it came up quite late on here, but much earlier on my stream, that's cool, uh, thank you very much for that, I much appreciate it, um, yeah, so, um, uh, a few people saying sculpt, um, yeah, sculpt and then optimise it for games, that is an option, but you're optimising it for games is almost, uh, so you're doing shrink wrap modifiers and things, um, and it's a little bit advanced, it's a tricky one. It's a tricky one. How to reduce resolution in multi-resolution modifier. We could do a multi-res modifier, so we could do a bit of both. I'm actually on the wrong screen, come to think of it, for sculpting, so I can change my screens around easy enough. That's not a problem. Um, CMTB animations and Queen's Gate Productions. Yeah, didn't know that. That's interesting. That's uh, Burke, our character today. Um, okay, so what should we do? What should we do? Duh, duh, duh. Okay, let me just see. Uh, I'm going to sort of count up what we got. Uh, so we got one, two, three, four, five, uh, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. <laughs> Roughly about twenty. It's looking like the subdivision surface is winning out. I'll, I promise I'll do a sculpting one next time. Uh, and in fact, what we'll do, uh, we'll do. A subdivision surface modifier and we can do a multi-resolution modifier for those that want to go a stage further into sculpting we'll see we'll see how we get on it does depend on time as well and uh, these are meant to be sort of beginner to intermediate sessions so we're trying to get good at modeling get good uh, so hopefully 
it's all going to make sense. It's all going to be brilliant. Um, yeah, we're just having a quick look at what people are saying. <laughs> Hello to Geek Studio. Uh, he looks like a faceless cookie monster. He does, actually, doesn't he? Yeah. That's quite weird, isn't it? The cookie monster. I thought, yeah, I suppose it's just the colour, really, isn't it? Um, does the character need to be optimised if we want to integrate it into a game? Yes, indeed, it does. Um, it, with sculpting, uh, let me see if I can go to wireframe here. That's what it looks like at the moment. That's after a, decimate, a decimation modifier, decimate modifier. Um, so it's quite heavy in um, tries. So we've got 35,000. And for a character like, character like this, you don't need that many. Uh, we could use the crap way, uh, which is the decimate way of uh, retopology, which is not very good, not very good for animation. I, I kind of want to animate it really. Um, so it, um, anyway, so uh, that's what it looks like through sculpting. and. You should retopologize this. You might even bake the normal maps, but it doesn't really need normal maps to be honest. We could get a bit of lumpy bumpiness, um, but I think the normal map, sorry, the bump map is doing a fine job there. Uh, so you can see my shading for this character. It's just got a really basic noise into the color and noise into the bump, which I'll go through a bit later on. So just sort of prepping you here. Uh, hopefully that's all. Hope that makes sense, as someone pointed out to my catchphrase. Uh, clay fill is yeah as I'm explaining here. Um, so I hope that hope that makes sense. Oh no, it is really a catchphrase, isn't it? Oh, it's it's a fine catchphrase. It's good to have catchphrases. People recognise me. Oh, uh, that account blah blah blah. Got my new job thanks to you. All your content is amazing. You are awesome, and I hope you can keep doing uh, what makes you happy. Good stuff. What what tell us about your job? That's awesome. <laughs> uh, that that's great, isn't it? And thank you very much for the donation. I really appreciate it. Uh, but uh, even more excited about the job, actually. That's so Ooh, cool. Well, thank you very much. Uh, just seeing what's going on. Are, we, uh, are there any moderators on, actually, that could help me with um, things that are being hidden? Any moderators on? Give us a shout. Uh, if not, I might have to make someone a mod. <laughs> okay, uh, so uh, let's let's get going, shall we? So I'm going to close this one down because this is the one that was on my um, thumbnail. That's the word I'm looking for. I'll just have a look at what people are saying. Yep. Uh, so I'll close this one down. I don't save. And here's the new one. Uh, so it's pretty much the same. I don't think I've uh, textured them yet, but this is using subdivision surface modifiers. So if we, oh, I'm in pose mode. Um, so you can see it's sort of very, very nice topology for ready for games. Um, although that needs to be applied. Um, that one, I, I, yeah, anyway. Um, this one's a bit dense, but we can reduce that. Uh, oh. I accidentally applied that one. That's no good. I think you can unsubdivide anyway, so uh, that's an interesting one. But we're remaking this anyway, so it doesn't matter. Will you save your stream? Yep, I'll upload it. Uh, will it be on the uh, on my streaming playlist? I need to put these ones into a playlist, don't I? Um, ah, so uh, yeah, um, I was working as a game dev for phone apps. Ah, and now I work making VR video T games for clinical purposes. Clinical purposes, huh? Timing must be right. <laughs> oh, uh, yes, of course, April Fools, yeah. So we're not making this at all. We're making a cube. <laughs> April Fools, that can be my April Fools today, can I just sort of cut out? Uh, anyway, uh, so let's uh, make this model. Uh, you can see, actually, I've, um, did I actually, I can't remember whether I got around to properly rigging. I think I haven't changed the weight, so you can see him deforming a bit, but it would be fun if we were to animate Burke a little bit, wouldn't it? I'm not sure how, I haven't really tested this, so oh, I'm just rotating that the wrong way. Uh, XX probably, yeah, there we go. Nope. R uh, Y Y. <laughs> nope, R Z Z. I didn't sort out the bone roll at all before I did this. And bone roll is the um, orientation of your bones. There we go, so he's got a weird sort of, he's pointing to the ground somehow. And I think his feet in the um, actual program, if I go, I've got two views up here as well, I'll go to top view with this one. And I think they just sort of rotated around and just sort of wandered around like this sort of thing. Um, they slightly went up as well in the middle. Uh, but yeah, so we'll, he can sort of wander around and be cool anyway. It's going to be fun. Uh, okay. Uh, are they stretchy bones? No, they're not, but it, they could easily be. That's a good point, actually. Um, I've only used stretchy bones once before, so I might, uh, we might not even get this far. And you can see they need weight painting as well, so um, we'll get there. Um, but <laughs> it looks quite cool, doesn't it? Um, it's annoying, actually, because 
I showed my wife this and I said, oh, look at this fun character. And she said, oh, that one's really good. And I thought, shame, it's someone else's idea completely. And I've just completely ripped it off. Uh, so <laughs> she never says that about my actual <laughs> Yeah, that's nice. But oh, that one's really good. So there's just the style, isn't there, of the character that is just so cool. Uh, I don't know what it is, but it's uh, fantastic. Anyway, uh, all right, how long? Uh, yeah, I'll answer a few questions. Do remember to at Grant Abbott if you want to ask questions. Okay, so I'll save this work. Save as uh, test five, probably test six. <laughs> and we'll start a completely fresh scene. So I want you to uh, follow along. Okay, see if you can make the middle bit to start off with. I just ought to keep that up actually. I'm just gonna open it up again. Uh, where's that middle bit? There he is. Um, right. Yeah, so I'll have this. So we'll make that middle bit by yourselves. That middle bit there. Have a go at making that. See how you get on. Uh, and then I'll answer some questions whilst you're working through that. Then I'll make it myself and you can, oh, and I'll, oh, that's what I need. I knew there was something else I needed up um, ready, which is the Discord server. Make sure that's available. There we go. There's Discord. And we need to be in, uh, where the heck are we? <laughs> there are so many channels. Uh, there we go. Live stream channel. And uh, nice looking A spy. Well done. Good work on that one. Let's see what else other people are doing. Nice sheep. Yeah, what, what was it someone was asking? And I said perhaps, and then there was a lot of perhaps stuff coming up. Uh, anyway, uh, so post your uh, work up in here and your progress, and then I can show people as we're going along. That'd be quite fun. I'll uh, put that in the background, put this one in the foreground. Um, oh, we'd probably need Burke up as well, don't we? So let's get, I took a few screenshots, so I'll keep that in the corner over here. Uh, so I'm changing this to the, um, what's it called? The image editor. That's right, isn't it? And open up. Cute monster sculpt. There he is, Burke. Meh. I'll zoom in on that one so you can sort of see. It's sort of egg-shaped. I, I, I adapted it slightly, I must admit. Um, just slightly. Uh, right, so... Um, uh, what I meant was how to reduce the subdivisions levels level once you've increased it in multi-resolution modifier. Uh, yeah, um, they're still working on the multi-resolution modifier. I think if you get 2.83, the latest build, uh, you, you might be able to go up and down the levels. Uh, that's to blend the boy. Excuse me, I just had my tea. I drank it a little bit quickly as I wanted to get back on the stream. Um, I would appreciate a quick explainer on how to sculpt fine detail onto lower dense mesh using the multi-resolution modifier, uh, which I believe is the method for doing so, if I'm not mistaken. Yes, Lumi, that's one way of doing it. Um, there's there's quite a few ways, really, uh, but that's it is a good way of doing it. Um, it's the less processor intensive, it seems, the multi-resolution modifier. Um, and uh, you can, yeah, sculpt sort of the finer details. Um, the best place to look for that, in my opinion, is uh, this guy called Grant Abbott. Uh, he's got this YouTube channel. Uh, and if you go onto his channel and search the channel and uh, using alphas, uh, sculpt, just type in the search box in the chat, um, in that particular channel, because he's the best. Uh, uh, what's it? Um, sculpting alphas or sculpt alphas and you, it will come up. And then that's an easy way to sculpt details is using the alphas, um, which are sort of stencils in a sense. Um, uh, what are we supposed to do? Ah, right, you're making the middle the middle egg. That's what you're supposed to do. Yep. <laughs> I'm watching it in three windows. <laughs> I'm downloading Blend now. Can't wait to use it from home. Oh, you better be quick. You need to make some... Uh, this won't be a complete beginner, so you might struggle with the interface a little bit. Um, hey, James Green. Nice to see you on here. Good stuff. <laughs> Uh, Brent Gabbett, uh, never heard of him. <laughs> oh, thanks very much, Zamir Paktian. Uh, cheers, <laughs> Oh, that was, did I answer one of your questions? I, I was uh, not concentrating on who was asking. Oh, but that's cool. Thanks very much. Spiky Danto, nice to see you. That's good that we got a mod on here. You can sort people out uh, when they don't do anything wrong. Because no one has ever does it. We occasionally get a bot every now and again. A naughty Ooh, bot. Well, thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so we're making this egg shape here. Um, I'll, I'll go into, uh, shall I? Yeah, edit mode so you can sort of see the shape. But I used the subdivision surface modifier and applied it, so don't go by this too much. Oh, I'm, ah, what am I doing? I've got this on the wrong screen. I've got <laughs> oh, dear, I always do something silly, don't I? There we go. So we're making that egg shape, that egg shape there. It looks a bit weird at the moment, sort of double, 
double blender. That's the cool thing, you can't do that on a Mac, so I get annoyed at college, you can't open two blenders at once, but on a PC you can, I don't know why that is. Maybe it's just the operating system doesn't like it. Um, is Blender enough or do I need to learn ZBrush or ZBrush as I like to call it? Um, I think Blender is enough. Uh, definitely a great starting point. If you look at what uh, Jan Sculps did recently, he talked about learning uh, ZBrush and he did it in two weeks, I think it was. Um, but he was a good sculptor in Blender, not as good as uh, Gavit Media, of course. No, he's quite a lot better, really. Um, but if you, uh, it's worth just watching that because uh, it's talking about him learning uh, ZBrush and, and the tools, but more importantly is his ability to sculpt. Um, so you can learn that in Blender if you have to, then get across to ZBrush if that if your job relies on it. Uh, nice to see you, Corius. Okay, so um, uh, just seeing what's going on. Ah, ha have you seen Ducky 3D Clay Material tutorial? Uh, it would be perfect for this. Do you know I probably have, but I can't remember it. It was quite a while ago. It must have been a while ago because I've seen most of Ducky stuff, I think. Um, I do like to watch lots of tutorials. Um, it's important um, for me. It's your first live, uh, Asthalus. <laughs> um, okay, so, um, I yeah, is it planned to animate it uh, in order to walk along a path? Oh, uh, walk along a p path, perhaps. Perhaps. I'd have to probably look up and remind myself how to do that. I've done it before, but not for a while. I was just thinking a little walk cycle, if we get that far. It's unlikely we'll get that far because we'll just be modeling today. Uh, it's a follow along. So we're making this bit here. So, so how, how, has anybody posted the Discord yet? There's one. <laughs> hey, Hercules Art. Um, nice work. Oh, this is quite nice as well. Oh, there's a few people just posting their stuff. Um, uh, Eloween? That's quite cool. Uh, I've not seen that name. Um, nice work. I like um, very stark shadows there. Um, we call that uh, low key, low key lighting. I like this. It's cool. Uh, Tim Howe, Tim Howe, ninety three. Um, oh, that's for the new competition. Cool. Um, and Hercules art, looking cool. Yep. So there we go. Um, now I applied my subdivision modifier. It doesn't matter if you do or don't. Um, but we'll go through the process. So we start with the default cube. Uh, you'll be delighted to hear. Into edit mode, so tab into edit mode. Um, oh, shortcut keys. Can anybody see my screen all right? Let me see. Yep, we're good. Uh, start shortcut keys. Okay, so into face mode with three. Select the top face and I'll scale that up a bit. E to extrude, so pull a section out and scale it down. Okay, so we've got a really basic egg shape. Now if we go to the modifiers, the subdivision surface modifier up to the add modifier down to the subdivision surface modifier we get our egg and now we can start adapting this so how do I select an edge loop I know these are things you all know but uh, shout it out anyway and you can get some gold stars There's gold stars going again oh that's a uh, gabbit currency it's quite it's it's growing in um, demand uh, it's slightly overtaken Bitcoin just a bit for Bitcoin it's yesterday's news gabbit gabbit coin that's the way um, have you, uh, where are I? Um, animate, yep, yep. Um, oh, then how to toggle between low and high subdivision while sculpting. Uh, yeah, we, w we won't do that today. Um, but, uh, uh Blender 2.83 and you should be able to. Um, surely it will be animated cooking stuff for him upstairs, <laughs> indeed. If you, oh, yeah, so if you haven't seen Trapdoor, is the, um, look it up. Uh, and you can probably find some episodes online. I think there's a few, and it's great fun. Uh, let's just see what people are saying. Okay, so, uh, uh, yeah, so where, where are we? Um, alt, uh, someone said Alt, but it's not, it's Alt, left click. Alt, left click. Uh, yeah, Alt, R is to add a loop cut, and I'm just uh, editing this one, so Alt, left click. Oh, <laughs> but what did I do wrong? I wasn't in edge mode. So who got it, actually? Alt, um, Alt, left click, uh, Khalid G Dev. Gold star for you. Oh, they, they, yeah, like I say, um, yeah, a bit more than Bitcoin. So that's that's quite it's quite a lot there, gold star there. Now, uh, about that sort of shape. Now, I gave mine a bit more of a shape. So I go to side view with three on my numpad and G and pull it in the Y axis. And I just gave him a bit of a shape like this. Um, I just thought it made sense to me. And we got that nice round shape. Um, probably another subdivision about there. I just felt like he needed to arch forward 
um, a bit, in my opinion. I'm just going to minimize this so I can see my screen a bit better. Oh, there's another one. There we go. Uh, Dorian Dabani. Yep, nice. Uh, so just uh, squish out this bit a bit more around the middle here. So Hercules Art has got it. So um, pulling in the top uh, face uh, with your subdivision surface modifier on, you can pull them out. Don't apply the subdivision surface modifier too early, though. Um, so I'll bring that down. Down here. And back to here. Okay, so we've got our basic shape. Let me know how you're getting on. Who needs Bitcoin when you've got gold stars? Indeed, Spike Dento. Uh, just seeing what's going on. Isn't it the same if you added a sphere? Oh, the stream just went really weird there. Ah, um, sorry, I'm t I lost. I was reading in the middle of reading one, and I've lost it. Ah, yeah, uh, bill bag. Uh, <laughs> bill bag. It sounds kind of weird. Uh, isn't this the same if you added a sphere and grabbed the top and bottom? Yes. Um, but with the subdivision surface modifier, we can adapt lots of the area uh, with only one face. So it is much easier to modify your shape. So easier to work with subdivision surface modifiers. Uh, when will your next stream be? What? Wait, I, haven't, I, haven't fin I haven't finished this one yet. Goodness sake. Uh, uh, Friday. Uh, the, uh, fr uh, so um, I seem to be getting a bit of a pattern. Probably it's going to be 3 p.m. Uh, Wednesdays. Uh, probably 4 p.m. Uh, Fridays, we'll see it might 3 or 4 p.m. I haven't decided to complete there um, and uh, the Wednesday one will be doing sort of follow along and the, th the Friday one will be things like client work and freelance work and I'm working on a character at the moment. There we go, there we had another one. So that's um, Herschel and the Art Kid. Is it the same? Pretty much, pretty much isn't it? Yours is a bit wider at the base but um, I mean of course you can adapt your um, shape if you want to you could have a, a weird character like that if you wanted to. Um, right, where are we? How many hours in a day do you work? It It's difficult because um, I'm just always doing this sort of stuff or exercising, <laughs> it seems, especially at the moment, I tell you. It's crazy uh, because uh, I'm not socialising in the slightest. Uh, but <laughs> this, is my, <laughs> this is my social life. <laughs> it's quite fun be honest. Uh, how many screens are you facing? I've got three. So I've got the live stream on this one here, uh, my work on that one there, and my whack on Mobile Studio Pro down here. My hair has become a bit grayer than before, but still looking good. It's probably just the lighting. I'm afraid it is actually that gray. Um, yeah, it's just that. Gray. I think it's getting longer as well. Um, it, but it's the stress of all this live streaming. You, you put me through it, you guys do, don't you? The stress of uh, this model here <laughs> from Barbara. That is not an egg. <laughs> Obviously, Barbara's going for a sort of sculpt. I oh, know your subdivision surface. You have, um, I think you've duplicated faces. Did you mean to do that? Because it sort of gives it a rocky feel, which is kind of cool. Um, but what you've done, and I'll explain that, um, is you've let's say uh, I grab a face here. So I'm at uh, face mode. Grab that face, and I press E to extrude, and then I uh, left click. Um, and think actually I don't want to extrude that but the face is there can you see the difference it's making to my shape the face is already there so what you need to do is select all with A and then Alt M which will merge your vertices together by distance and then it goes back to there and you can see four verts removed so if you want to do that I mean it kind of looked cool to be honest I quite liked it so we've got a few more coming through I'm gonna start on the arms next uh, and what I'm gonna do I mean, I don't need to apply the subdivision surface modifier, so I'm just going to leave it. Yeah, I'm just going to leave it this time. Uh, JB Blender, it's my birthday today. Will you please awkwardly sing for me? Um, happy birthday to you. Happy... No. No, that will do. That will do, I think. Uh, it, was, it went a bit weird as well, didn't it? It went sort of oddly operatic. I couldn't help myself but be sarcastically singing happy birthday with... A strange operatic voice. Okay, um, so uh, into edit mode, into object mode. I've, I've really, it's messed up my brain. Um, anyway, <laughs> don't get me to do things like that. It just doesn't, uh, look Look at me. I've, I've lost it. I'm thinking happy birthday and all sorts. It's just, it's just, oh damn. <laughs> I'm glad you all enjoyed it. Okay, so, um, Actually, where's his arm start? Right at the top here, don't they? So let's uh, shift right click is what I'm doing. I'll move my cursor to a position where I want my arms to start. 
angelic voice indeed <laughs> it was worth that donation wasn't it for just the singing thanks account the account that account blah 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 okay so shift a to add and then i'm going to add a cube oh i bet you didn't see that one coming and then scale it down okay in fact i'm supposed to get you to make the arms aren't i you're supposed to be making the arms it's that singing happy birthday uh, and it's just thrown me can't teach anymore it's hopeless it's all, it's all lost okay so that's how that's how you can start off your arm so try and make the arms next it's a little bit more tricky than you might think this and tough one for beginners have a go but be prepared to delete it and start again so if you're a complete beginner hopefully you've managed uh, this it, it, you might uh, it just uh, try your best if you're absolutely like first time in Blender um, but I won't be able to go through all the interface because other people will get a bit bored obviously um, but just try your best and see how you get on but you might struggle and then you might just want to sit back and then watch the process and then think oh so that's how you do that and next time you go come to Blender you'll be that bit more aware hopefully would you put a belly button on this character you could do you could do indeed <laughs> we'll see how we get on aren't we applying scale we could do we might do at one point, good point, Patek 2. <laughs> uh, sorry, when is my birthday? 15th of February, the day after Valentine's Day. <laughs> Very keen to know when my birthday is. Um, 3D Basket, I've been watching your tutorials. I always find them helpful. I'm watching, your li watching you live for the first time. Nice to see you here, 3D Basket. I like the name. Oh, we've got 300 people and we've got 100 likes. Hey, 100 people like me. Uh, it makes me feel liked and wanted. Thanks very much. What about programming, Grant? What about it? <laughs> uh, just watching for now go gonna go through all your tutorials yeah start off with the um the monster and the man uh, in that sort of scene that's sort of my, my starting point tutorial uh, that's the best way i think um video idea pay us for artists on fiverr to finish a random creating creation you've made it perhaps maybe i will uh, it, i've seen others do that and it is actually really interesting did i skip you twice sorry uh uh, is it um, gel gel Brinkman Brinkman? Uh, yeah, so I haven't skipped you. I haven't skipped you now, have I? I, I did. Come on. <laughs> okay. Uh, so uh, building the arm, building the arms. I'll uh, bring my other blender up. There we go. Oh, he's all got um, pose on him now, isn't he? He's all he's all posy. Such a poser, Burke, isn't he? But if I go into here, go into edit mode, uh, it, oh wait, I forgot it removes the, it removes the um, pose anyway. So you can see my arm there, that might help you if you're a beginner. So thinking about um, extrusions, it's pretty much just extrusions and then there is a couple of loop cuts in there. Uh, gold star going for who knows the command to a loop cut. Gold star going, how do I loop cut? Obviously I have to be in edit mode and then what do I press? What do I press? Ah, uh, yeah, I've turned off the notifications for subscribing, Frank. Ah, <laughs> oh, scuffered your plan, didn't it? <laughs> uh, does 3D artists make more money than graphic design? That's a good question, actually. Um, it depends on the artist and the graphic designer. Um, I think uh, you can get some graphic designers that are massively overplayed, um, and it's less likely, I think, for 3D artists, to be honest, uh, because you can kind of fake it in graphic design. That's really naughty to say that, isn't it? Let's, uh, let's pretend I didn't say that. <laughs> but I always think those people that are charged, abs um, they're, they're paid absolutely massive of money um, for a simple logo that's, uh, yeah. But I'm not, I'm not saying that. I'm not, shh, didn't say it. Uh, Spiky Danto, control R. Oh, you're a mod you, and you, you, oh, you've got a gold star. You're stealing the gold star from the others, Spiky Danto. You should be moderating. <laughs> Uh, well done, Time Pets Portrait as well. That's right, Control R for loop cuts. <laughs> Happy birthday for advance, uh, in advance and past. Thank you very much. <laughs> uh, how about doing a tutorial about sharp edges and soft edges among the same object, crease, bevel, weights, and so on? I've done a bit of a tutorial on that, but. Um... Sorry, my dog was running around outside. Um... Loop cuts require a chainsaw. Yes, that's the proper way to do it. But we we um, use just the Control R um, one because it's a bit easier than the getting out the chainsaw. It's a bit of a pain there. <laughs> uh, 
Um, oh yeah. <laughs> what is going? You suck, Grant. April Fool's Day. Fair enough. <laughs> oh, hurt my feelings. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, is that enough time? Let's see how we're getting on on the old Discord. Yay, we're getting somewhere now. That's good. Uh, hang on, uh, this is where we were up to. So, Mersey Viking, well done. Uh, Minuto 200, hello. Uh, nice work, good job. Um, Hercules Art, how does it look? Good, looking good? It looks a little bit phallic though. <laughs> uh, good, good. Oh, the bit of sculpting going on. Is that sculpting? That looks like it's sculpted, but that's, that's cool. Uh, I don't know what this is. Is that some weird me? I don't even know who that is. I'm behind the times with memes, I'm afraid. Uh, this is looking cool. Excellent. I like that. It's, it looks uh, bubbly and nice. Isn't it? Good job. Yes, we're getting there. Well done. Yes, indeed. Oh, this is, he looks almost human uh, with his arms. Uh, uh, Burke has sort of thinner arms at the top, but this could work as well. Could work. Um, no, Grant, it was sub D1. Okay. Oh, interesting. So you've got a lot of topology in there. Or have you? Maybe, maybe not. Make the nose. What's going on? There's uh <laughs> oh, there, oh there, it was there was some bot bots happening. Yeah, uh, thank you for sorting that out, Spiky Danto. Uh, the guy in the Discord is a doctor. Oh I see. Uh, gotcha. Johnny Sins, don't Google. Okay. It's also a firefighter. Interesting. <laughs> Very interesting. They say I'll, I'll, I also learn in these sessions as well. <laughs> okay, so we are working through this section here. Let's have a go, and I'll show you how I did it. So hopefully you're keeping up. Ooh, well, thank you. Very oh, did much. someone donate? There we go. Dundle, thank you very much. Much appreciated. I like the little um, gift thing as well. Cool. <laughs> Thanks a lot. Much appreciated. I hope you're following along. Uh, okay, so uh, into edit mode with uh, this cube that we added. Remember I pressed shift right click to move my cursor into position, then shift A to add a cube. Okay, uh, remember not to, right, if I go into edit mode here and press shift A, don't add your cube in edit mode, otherwise it would join to the other one. That's a bit of a pain. So watch out for those things. Let's grab this cube and uh, let's extrude. Uh, I'm not going to do the elbow joint just yet. So my wrist is going to start around here and I'll fill those in in a bit. And in fact, I shouldn't have, I didn't need to extrude there. So I can just grab this loop here and control, in fact, what is it? How do I d dissolve an edge loop? How do I dissolve an edge loop? A little bit of a tougher one, this one. And I'd forgotten about this and someone reminded me about it in the last, uh, the last stream. Um, Epic just announced they brought a 50... <laughs> Uh, uh, Fifty-one percent stake in Blender Foundation. Yeah, yeah, I, I believe you. I believe you. It's uh, what's the date again? What is the date? I don't know. I don't know. Not important, is it? Uh, yes, it's X and then dissolve. You can do it like that. You can. It's there. Oh, Control X. There we go. Corey S has got it. Corey S. Gold star. Control X is the quick way. I mean, obviously you can press delete and then dissolve edges. Yep, uh, but the quick way is control X and that's what I was looking for. Do you see that? Just disappeared. Adam, poof, poof, gone. Okay, so um, what I'm gonna do is I need another extrusion here for the hand. Okay, actually we'll go halfway in the hand. Just remind myself, make sure I did that, yep. And then we're gonna make this a little bit wider. So I can select this one here and this one here and scale in the Y. Or there's an alternative way of doing that. I could select the face loop, so I'm in, I'm, in, I'm in face mode, and I can select an edge going across like this, and it selects the whole entire edge loop, and then press scale Y as well. Okay, so he's got that sort of, they get bigger as they get towards his hands. Okay, and then press through again, extrude out there, and then I can extrude out here for the thumb. Well, hey, there's a thumb. Just um, nice and simple to start off with, and then think about how I can do the fingers. He's got three fingers, how can I do that? What am I going to do? What am I going to do? Oh, it's, to, it's Blender not free anymore. Oh, no. Oh, dear. Um, what, what's the date again? <laughs> it's going to cost uh, $99. It's not bad, actually, for a great piece of software like Blender. <laughs> um, 
do you make live streams of your birthday or maybe blender on your birthday um i think i did do a live stream around my birthday but didn't really announce it in a big way yes i need some edge loops yes indeed could yeah now um i don't think this is a good idea what i'm about to do um but yes loop cut for the fingers indeed control r uh indeed so um you could come here and go right click subdivide and i've seen some of my students do that it, but it doesn't really work because we've got what are called n-gons there and now if i go to the subdivision surface modifier which i will do in a second uh, but can you see the sort of distortion that's happening around the fingers so ideally we don't really want to do that because there's this end gone so i'll undo that instead we want to do Control r and do two loop cuts down there okay and then i've got these three faces that i can extrude now there is an extrude individual is it alt e i think yep extrude individual faces so instead of just pressing e to extrude because they'll be joined together and we don't want that we can press alt e extrude individual faces and then they'll oh, and then grab in the x i was expecting that to just move in the x but it didn't anyway there we go and so he's got some fingers i mean it's a bit of a mess at the moment but we'll tidy it up don't you worry uh knifey knifey <laughs> cave for knife tool you could do it. in fact who got it actually who got the um i suppose it's a hercules art i think you were there first by saying edge loops yes i'll give you that you've got your gold star well done congratulations don't spend it all at once though it'll buy oh, i suppose you, you can you, you can't in fact is what i'm trying to say you can't spend it all at once because it's so much money that you couldn't possibly islands helicopters but still would have change for a gabbit coin uh ooh, what's going on here Uh, did I use a reference image for the male low poly? I think I probably did somewhere, but just uh, type in character turnaround um, into Google and you'll come up with some good reference images. Uh, James Green, if you brute force it, it can work. Naughty James. He's one of my students. <laughs> nice to see you on here, James. Uh, I don't know. I don't think there's any other students on here. You're the only one left. Uh, you're doing well. Uh, who else we got? <laughs> just seeing what people are doing okay let's look at the um, discord and see how we're getting on up we go looking good looking good looking good oh looking good uh minuto 200 <laughs> love it excellent excellent uh, fan good job we're doing well we're doing well keep it going guys Okay, so obviously at this point we just extrude out a bit further. We might want to separate them a bit though. So I'm going to undo that and just grab this face in the Y. And grab that one in the Y. G then Y. Okay, and then grab all these faces and extrude. And now they're going straight and that's a bit of a pain, isn't it? Um, and it doesn't look quite right, but it doesn't matter too much. We probably want two extrusions, do we? It depends how we want the fingers bending, actually. Actually, I'm only going to do one because we'll keep it nice and simple because uh, you can see there, there's sort of one bend there and that should be fine. So we're good, we'll just sort out the thumb. So I'll come to this one and I'll go to top view. In fact, what would be a good idea? I'm gonna squeeze him in a bit and then break up my views. Um, that was not the best thing to do actually. I'll undo that and I'll explain what I'm doing actually. Join areas, there we go. Right, so at the moment we've got uh, one view and we've actually got the timeline down here as well. I'm gonna join that because we don't need the timeline for this. So I can right click in the middle of these two viewports. You can see that one being highlighted there. Uh, in the middle, it turns to an arrow, right click and then join areas. And you get this sort of weird arrow. If I say this way, point downwards, this view takes over that view. That's the thinking. What kind of microphone do I use? It's an SM7B, is it? Yep, sure, SM7B. And it sounds good, doesn't it? Sounds creamy. <laughs> um, uh, different parts of the figure must be connected or it is not a problem uh, if not no it's not a problem it's actually slightly better for animating um, to have less confusion around the joint uh, in this case if you if you want nice simple animations if you want to be more complicated what you would have to do uh, we would have to uh, join it up to you see these in fact I'll do a join later on 
<laughs> yeah, sorry, I don't know why I said creamy. A creamy, smooth voice is what I was thinking, but it, it just sounded weird, didn't it? Um, I'll, remind me to join the arm to the body later on just to show you what's going on. Okay. Yeah. <laughs> I have audio render error. Don't understand why you would have any audio render error. Sorry. Don't know what's going on there. Uh, if objects are not connected, they're going to be clipping. No, we sort of indented in, so it'll be fine. And it'll sort of swing on the outside. It, it'll look fine. It'll look brilliant, I'll tell you, honestly. Just don't worry. It'll look fine. Uh, <laughs> can you tell me a bedtime story with that sound? Uh, no. <laughs> don't do bedtime stories. Um, in fact, I will show here that um, you see it's sort of indented. And uh, so if I turn off overlays, that looks all right to me. I mean, it's not amazing. And actually, the weights are um, off, so but it, it can look fine, and it's sort of just inserted like that. We'll we'll keep it simple for now, because it's a it's sort of a beginner's tutorial. Okay, so I want to yeah, so I'm bringing out some screens. So I'll bring out this screen here, and bring out one down there. So you go to the top of the corner there, so very top corner, uh, and when your cursor changes, uh, watch out! Don't go too far, otherwise you'll into this window. So when your cursor changes, but keep it close to this corner. It's one of the most complicated things to do in Blender, this. <laughs> That's why I'm trying to over-explain it. And then you click and drag down, and you've got a new window. Now I can change this to front view with one on my numpad, and three to side view, and then I've got those views if I need them. And seven is what I want at the moment, and I can press E to extrude and pull out a thumb. Uh, I'm just going to move in a little bit on it and just sort these out. So um, it's a good idea to take a take time in sorting your hands and fingers out. So the best way is to alt left click so you select those edge loops and then you can sort of reposition them as you need to. So um, for ooh, uh, for the for these faces I can select them in here and then I can sort of move them outwards and select uh, this one in here and then move it outwards. So that's sort of a bit easier and in fact they want to be a bit smaller don't they? That one wants to be a bit longer um, actually, they're all the same size on Burke, aren't they? And I'm noticing, oh, I forgot what I was doing there. Um, I'm noticing his hands are way bigger. So um, we need a cut in here, don't we? We need to sort of scale them up a little bit. We can select all, but that won't select the underside. So we need to go to Alt-Z. Alt-Z is uh, X-ray mode, and we can see through, and I know I can actually select all like that. And can you see it selected everything underneath as well? And that's handy. We can scale this up. It probably just needs to be just a bit bigger, about there. Yeah, that's that's sort of getting there, isn't it? Uh, we might want to edit our shapes around here a little bit. So take time to sort your shapes out. Uh, probably easiest in top view here. So that, and then I can grab that because we're in, um, what's it called mode? X-ray mode. Yep, so you can see me moving those. And we, I don't know. Are they thicker at the end? They're not really, actually. Let's just have a good look around and see what they look like. They're not looking too bad. Okay, so let's see how people are getting on with the hands. A tricky one, the hands. Tricky one. But people are doing exceptionally well. Oh, he's got big muscles. <laughs> Give him an extra finger. <laughs> it's quite realistic, actually. It's cool. Uh, Hercules art looking good. Let's bring this across a little bit. Uh, we've got lots on here. That's good. Looking good, looking good. Um, it's interesting, so you took a picture on your phone or something. A screen grab is much easier. Uh, you've got snipping tools. If I come down here, you got got, um, if I, pr that comes with Windows, snipping tools. And you can, uh, for screen grabs, it's just so much easier. And then uh, new, and I can snip and take a picture. Look, there we go. Snipping tools. <laughs> Tutorial about everything there is. That's what I use anyway. Uh, index finger looking a tad skinny. Perhaps it is. Yep, I might change mine in a second. Thank you. Ah, so you've actually joined yours. Good. Nice. Oh, which is fine. If you're a bit more advanced, maybe you could join yours together. Nice work. Looking good. I'd, I'd keep them apart to start off with personally and then join them together later. Uh, good job. All looking cool. Excellent. I can't pronounce that name. I suppose it's... <laughs> I don't know. Uh, let's see what people are saying. How do I select only one face? Well, you go into Blender and you select... Aha, you see I can't select a face at the moment because I'm in edge mode. And you go to face mode and you select just one face. Okay. 
no more print screen no more print screen you got snipping oh it's way too good uh can you also do uh windows key plus shift plus s maybe you can <laughs> Oh, so uh, uh, Matthias uh, Kinnell is saying the same thing. So it looks like you can. Yes, indeed. Uh, good, good, some good advice there. I love that. Okay, so how are people getting on with their arms? Hello, Felix Gonzales. <laughs> K-Blade Studio, nice to see you. I'm just giving people time, a bit of time to catch up. Ask, ask me your questions as well. And then whilst people are catching up, I can answer some questions. Sorry I'm late, but I recall seeing that image in previous video session. Childhood memories at Grant. Not sure what you mean. <laughs> anyway, uh, where are I? Um, Almed El Saig, is that? I'm probably pronouncing it wrong, sorry if I am. Um, I like environments, but when I see those node ninjas do some amazing stuff, it frustrates me. My question is... If uh, I want to be an environment artist, do I have to know all that complicated stuff? No, you don't. Put it simply, no, you don't. <laughs> uh, they really go overboard with the nodes for the challenge more than anything. Uh, and they try and model things with the nodes and stuff. <laughs> People are impressed with the win plus shift plus S. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to have to try it. It's not going to crash my program. <laughs> Windows plus shift plus S. Oh, I see. Oh, that's good, isn't it? And does that go onto your clipboard? And then I can paste it somewhere. Oh, it's good, isn't it? No Alt F4. <laughs> Bert. It's Burke, actually, Burke, <laughs> with a K. Uh, how to be good at sculpting? Um, well, you've, there's this YouTuber called Grant Abbott, uh, and he's got this channel. And on that channel, uh, make sure you watch all the adverts, and go onto the playlist uh, with sculpting, beginner's guide to sculpting. And then by the end of that, you're just suddenly really good at sculpting. It's amazing what that guy does. It's just incredible. Uh, I'm being sarcastic, by the way, in case uh, that's, it's a British trait, I think. <laughs> but yeah, uh, have a check out my um, sculpting playlist uh, and that will help. Jan sculpts as well. He's not bad, but he's not as good as Grant Abbott. <laughs> uh, okay, so, um, what are we happening? Right, um, let's move on a little bit. And what I think we need is he is Risco in a little bit here. So Control R, and we can do a loop cut here and just scale it in a bit, just like that. There we go. And we need, I mean, it, it doesn't have to join, so it could be like this. And remember, you've got subdivision viewport quality. You could put turn that up. But what's the problem if I turn that up? Um, what problem do I get? <laughs> what's going on there <laughs> how much does you uh, how much this YouTube pays you for advertising um, it for pretty much I think very roughly for most people I think you'll find it's about a thousand views is one pound so you have to work out <laughs> very roughly um, I want to learn about Blender 3D uh, don't know what kind of PC will build. Um, it's really tricky, depends on your budget, but you go as good as you can. Uh, your the Blender will uh, kick the butt of any PC. Um, if, yeah, this it, it will push it PCs to the extreme. So you'd go as good as you can with the budget you've got. What time is it over there? Well, it is 10 to four. There you go. <laughs> Count Duckula. I'll flip normals as well. Um, are good? Yep. Uh, I'd say you need to remove the face in the upper end of the arm. Oh, yeah, you could do it. Yeah. So you mean in here uh, for games? Yeah. So thinking about gaming? Good. I've forgotten I'd ask that question. Is no one's asking me. Um, ah, yeah. No, uh, uh, there we go. Uh, Bell Edge uh, B, a gold star to you because it's too many polys. So as soon as we up. The, uh, the poly count, the, the viewport display, and we were to, let's say, render this, um, then obviously our poly count goes up as well, so we have to watch out for that. He's got very square sort of oblongy fingers, so I think I'm going to have to select these bottom faces, which I can do like that. It's actually selecting edges, but it doesn't matter. We can get the faces like this. 
select those last two, and G, then Z. Make them a little bit flatter. Um, oh, of course, this edge loop here needs to, I'll scale it in the Z, and then grab it upwards slightly. There we go. Notice I'm making the arm go out straight like this. Uh, and I think it's just easier to model like that, and then we can pose him and then pull it down. Uh, it's just easier for beginners to understand, and you don't have to worry about moving along different axes and things. Did you ever render any videos with cycles? How long does it take? It took days, <laughs> days. Um, one of my first uh, projects, um, paid for projects doing it for someone was doing a, it was a yacht, and they wanted me to do a scale model of this yacht, and it was it was a big project. Um, but it was what, like I said, it was one of my first, so I was quite excited about it. Um, but I had to render that, and this was 15 years ago. So you can imagine how long uh, it was a detailed model, it, all the interior and everything of this yacht. Even though I was doing fairly low poly, uh, it still took days to render. Anyway, so uh, we'll turn the viewport uh, polys down. Uh, yeah, the resolution. Uh, I might want to control R and do a loop cut down here. So it's got a bit of depth. And also, uh, I'm remembering that I need some loop cuts along here because when I go to, uh, let's go to my other Blender file. That's weird, that didn't work. Something happened, something went wrong. Oh, we're okay. Um, and go to my overlays. You can see when I'm posing, it needs some joints in here to bend by. So if I go to edit mode again, you can see, well, there's only one there, but because it's got a subdivision surface modifier on, it's um, helping uh, with that. So with this version, well, the Blender version, uh, we can do a loop cut in here. We could even do two. Now, what am I doing to do this? What do I press to do that? In fact, I forgot the screencast keys are on, so you probably saw what I pressed. Uh, uh, and we can do that anyway. Uh, so using that command, um, gold star going for whoever can read the screen the quickest. <laughs> uh, but that will give us some extra polys and then they will bend. Yes, control B. It, and what does it stand for? What does it stand for? Oh, who's gonna get it first? So uh, Luigi64, you've got the gold star. Uh, Bevel, Corey S, you've got another gold star, two gold stars, you're almost the richest person in the world now. Almost. <laughs> <laughs> cool stuff. Yep, so uh, bevel, like that. And that will give us some topology to work by. I mean, actually, thinking about it, we probably want to... This is very square looking, isn't it? And what we can do is come along here with these faces. I should have done this before I did the extra faces, but we can do it now. It won't matter too much. Not that one, though. And we can scale Z. And then it gives it a bit of curvature. And we do the same on this side. In fact, we can select one face and then control click the other. That would be quicker. Scale Z. If you didn't know that, uh, so uh, select a face and then um, if you want to select all these faces down here, you, s you go to the end one and control left click and it will select all of them in between. Uh, it's a very useful command that. Uh, okay, so we've got a bit of curvature going on there. The hand's looking kind of cool. That's all right. Isn't it? <laughs> That's how you get gold star. Yes, I dish them out every now and again. Um, you, you can cash them in. Trying to remember where it is now. There's some shop somewhere, but yeah. Uh, the games have a lot of poly count and it works. Yes, yeah, you can. I mean, you can go really high, but there's, it would be pointless to go high poly for this because if we go, uh, well, in fact, let's go to our other model. And uh, let's say we're, um, Burke is running along about there. That's high enough poly. And that's, what have we got on that subdivision surface? We've got one. Uh, so, and I would say that's high enough poly with smooth shading and how many faces, if I go into edit mode, select all, it's uh, faces 100. So that, um, well actually it's, it's uh, 400 isn't it? So that's quite high really for a character. Um, and we, could we reduce it? We probably could reduce it down here, if we, but I'll talk about that later perhaps. Um, you can, yeah, like I say, you can reduce them and optimize them a bit. Uh, yeah, I think you can exchange Gabbit coins for Bitcoins, but you wouldn't want to. You want to keep Gabbit coins, so don't worry about it. <laughs> uh, anyway, uh, where was I? Oh yeah, so I'm getting rid of this screen and putting it down there. Okay, so uh, we want to uh, duplicate this across the other side. What's the best way to do that? What do I think? What do you think is the best way? Gold star going. Gold stars. They are. They're going like hotcakes. The gold stars. 
What keyboard am I using? It's just some ravaged Microsoft keyboard. It's it is wireless though. But yeah, there we go. Nice keyboard. <laughs> oh, I just deleted. <laughs> I just deleted. <laughs> so right, I better save my work, hadn't I? Just gonna quickly save my work. Yeah, mirror is gonna be. I mean, Shift D was good, but mirror is better. And so um, the count, blah blah blah. Gold star to you. Trapdoor game on the Spectrum. Do you know that rings a bell? My friend had a Spectrum, a ZX Spectrum. Oh, the see-through graphics and everything. Brilliant. Absolutely loved it. Uh, so yeah, uh, Mirror is the best way. I'm just going to save this. Uh, so save as, uh, what are we doing? Uh, toot one for tutorial one. Don't know whether you heard a dog barking then. Uh, I think he's trapped downstairs. <laughs> or you might have seen a cat. Uh, where are we? So mirror, yes indeed, mirror. Thanks, Control Z. <laughs> yeah, uh, you might want to save, guys. You never know, you never know. Blender is pretty stable though, isn't it? Um, it's, it's pretty impressive. I, I can't remember the last time I crashed. You shouldn't really say that, should you? <laughs> I'm not superstitious like that. So. Uh, right, so we can mirror. So let's go to the modifiers, add modifier, mirror. Oh no, what's going on? Oh, it's in, oh no, that's dreadful. What we, oh, who advised me to mirror? What am I gonna do? What am I gonna do? Maybe I can give out a gold star for someone who can tell me what I'm gonna do here. What am I gonna do? <laughs> uh, yes, I have a dog. <laughs> Don't know what's going on there. Uh, yeah, the origin indeed. So a gold star to Erfan Mo. So um, I wish I had two screens so I could properly follow this tutorial. Yeah, I suppose that is a bit awkward, isn't it? Perhaps put um, me, <laughs> my screen, in one of these boxes, uh, like top here, like the outliner. You don't really use the outliner much for this. You get a crash every day. Maybe it's your system. Ah, there we go. James Green is, uh, yeah, so mirror, mirror, uh, mirror object, exactly. I think, I think, yay, my students. Uh, <laughs> James Green, you got the gold star. The illustrious gold star. So you come across to here and under mirror object, you click on that. There's a little pipette, as I call it, or uh, picker, as other people call it. In fact, do they say what it's called? Yeah. And you can then pick the cube as your object. And look, it mirrors across the cube. Oh, you saved my bacon there, guys. Thank you very much. I was a bit worried what I was going to do. Perfect stuff. It's looking good, isn't he? Looking good. How, many, how are we doing for time? We're an hour in. We've made an egg with hands. Better go back to the Discord and see what's going on. Uh, oh, podcast. That's that. Not important, although it is important for blend, blend, blender nest. Uh, trapdoor on a spectrum. <laughs> oh, that's looking cool. Actually, let's go back a bit uh, and see how people are getting on. I can't remember how far I got. Hey, no, nice work, Barbara. Um, it's still, it's still sort of rocky, but you've done really well with the hands. Nice, nice job. Uh, this is looking good. Hercules art. I can't remember. What I got what is this? <laughs> he grew up a bit, got into shape, and got a girlfriend. <laughs> nice. Uh, so I think we were up to here, weren't we? Uh, excellent, excellent work. Uh, that's a good one. Yeah, he's looking quite cool. He's very squarish, very squarish on the hands. Let's just have a quick look. Now, why would that be? And it's sort of interesting around here, a bit of distortion around there. Maybe a few too many loop cuts, I'm suggesting. Show us your wireframe, can you? Um, so we can see what's going on there. My wireframe is quite simple, which uh, we can see in the background. Uh, so it's re relatively simple anyway, quite, that's how sparse it should be. Remember, we're trying to optimize for games so as low a poly as possible. Uh, let's back back to the Discord. Where are we? And uh, let's see. Hercules Art, looking good. Um, Petek 2, looking good. That one looks a little, no, 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 that's good, no, that's good. My, my <laughs> uh, excellent, do control plus X. Oh, so you're uh, commenting on here. Yeah, uh, comment on the stream instead of on here. <laughs> uh, Matt, excellent work. Whoa. <laughs> uh, I prefer to mirror, uh, but it's good good practice to do both. Let's just see what's going on. How's this? Nice work. Polybloom, catching up. Uh, yep, so you can go for sort of simple hands if you want, like this. Oh, this, I quite like this one. I like the way the hands curl around, big hands like that. They're, they're very big for the character, but that's quite cool. I like it. And let's have a look at Trapdoor on the Spectrum. That's really tiny. 
<laughs> I can't remember what you had to do, but it was it wasn't very good, if I remember. It was more the excitement that it's trapped or as a computer game, but it was I think it was pretty rubbish from what I remember. Uh, I like this one, Hercules Art, it's looking really good. Uh, well done, Barbara. Uh, mirrored nicely. It's looking good. Uh, Minotto, there's, oh, that's the wireframe. Oh, that's interesting. Why is it so sharp then? Ah, it's because you've got a loop cut going around the middle there. You've got an extra loop cut. I'm not sure, and you haven't got it up here. Did you do that? Ah, you have. You did what I told you not to do, <laughs> which was subdivide the end. And that's... Uh, it's that's why it becomes problematic and you get those sort of distortions in the mesh here uh, so it's better to have uh, the topology running all the way through like this uh, loop cuts are better end gons can uh, cause problems uh, <laughs> seeing what people are up to is it okay to have blender 2.8 instead of newer version going to copy and paste until you answer uh, that's fine it should work. I can't think there's anything extra in hit this version. No. Oh dear. Uh, in, invite invalid BIOS. Or BOYUS. <laughs> See what people are saying. Uh, Discord is in the description. Yeah, if you need to know. If you need to know. <laughs> okay, so next is the feet. I would say we're going to work on the feet. Actually, it's looking a bit weird shaped. So I'm going to change my egg a bit and I feel like this loop cut, G then Z, needs to come down a little bit. And maybe this one about the jab and the Y, I don't know. I'm not sure, I'm not sure. I mean you can always control R and give him an extra sort of bulblessness and maybe therefore move this one up, GG. What does GG do? What's the, what am I um, doing with GG? I'm um, saying good game, but also, what am I doing? I think that's probably a bit better, actually, isn't it? Maybe bring him in at the back here. G, then one. I'm going off on one for some reason. And then maybe give him a bit of a bum at the back here. G, then Z. E. Kind of working. He's a bit weird around here. <laughs> Someone disliked. <gasps> Did they? But we're up to 196 likes. That might be my best yet, actually. Hey! <laughs> Uh, we could do rigging. We might get to that, actually. We've got a bit of texturing to do as well. Uh, edge slide, exactly. So who got it first? Who got it first? Who got it first? Uh, slide. I'll give you that, Tom Kayak. Yeah, edge slide. But it's the same thing, isn't it? Same thing. Cool. You get a, a gold star. And um, yeah, I know. They're good. You can buy a lot with them. <laughs> I'm just having a look at what other people are saying. Good stuff. Uh, is it? Uh, good evening. Good evening, Amun Amuni. That's a cool name. Okay, so we're doing the feet. Um, so let's go to front view. And uh, how do I move my cursor? What do I do? I can't move my. I've forgotten the command to move my cursor. Tell me what it. Tell me what I need to do, and I'll give you a gold coin. <laughs> Thank you, Chihabuko. <laughs> Please do some facial expression animation. Oh, I don't know. Oh, no. Did, did I get two dislikes now? Oh, it's adding up now, isn't it? But we are over 200 likes, so I don't care anymore. Don't care. <laughs> Hit the big times. Uh, shift S is cursor to... Um, you get... Uh, well, I suppose Shift S is that cursor menu, yes. But that's not what I'm after. Shift right click is the answer. Patek 2, you've got a gold star. Congratulations. Don't spend it all at once. So shift right click will move my cursor. Now I can press shift A to add a cube. There we go. Look at that. Shift C will bring the cursor to the center. So if I press shift C. And it, it weirdly zooms you out as well. I find that quite weird. Uh, F. F doesn't do anything. <laughs> <laughs> so if you just joined us, yes, this is Trapdoor. It's Burke from Trapdoor, actually, uh, that we're making <laughs> and having fun making. Hopefully we're having fun. Are you having fun? Are you all having fun? <laughs> Do you think the dislike is from Frank De Drebin? I don't know. I don't think uh, because Frank loves Burke, so he wouldn't want to. We'll, we'll, we'll get to the bottom of it. Who's the dislike? Who is it? <laughs> 
I can't actually see the dislikes because I don't have that screen open. So, oh, actually, there is a stream health thing here, and there's no data for it. It says stream with stream health is excellent. Cheers, thanks for that. View activity. Oh, that's handy. I didn't know I could get that. Oh, and I can see who's donated. Hey, that's really good. Analytics. Ooh. Oh, we're sort of peaking at the moment. Whoa. <laughs> this is really interesting. Sorry, you can't see this. But, um, I don't know. Can I show you this? I don't think there's anything naughty going on. Oh, it doesn't matter anyway. Dislikes from Autodesk. <laughs> is there a way to bring 3D cursor to the origin without zooming out the scene? Yes. Uh, Shift S. Oh, I've got to go on here though. Shift S, cursor to world origin. <laughs> Just there. And it will go to the origin. Uh, hmm, that's the third person uh, has wrongly given a gold star to. It, if I, have I really? Um, I wonder if it, uh, his chat is ordered differently than everyone else's. It could be. So sorry if I'm giving out the gold stars to the wrong people. That That is disgraceful. And that I know they're very sought after as well. So that is bad. I'm going to have to sort it out. Uh, tell me off if I'm getting them wrong. Tell me who should get the gold star. <laughs> uh, you can actually go to the Gabbit complaint department and they'll they'll probably give you a gold star. Um, yeah, just look it up uh, on my... If you watch the adverts enough, it comes up uh, and the Gabbit's complaints department and you can get through that way. <laughs> right, let's go back to the feet, shall we? Uh, see, <laughs> as Barbara uh, Klein points out, scroll down. Uh, shall we go to subdivision surface whilst we're modeling? Add modifier, subdivision surface modifier, goes all small, into edit mode, and now we can start uh, editing our mesh. So probably E to extrude out here. And let's, it's a tricky one, isn't it, with the feet? In fact, let's get a different image of, there we go, that's a better one. So working on the feet. This is the resolution of what we had to watch TV at as kids. It was, it was tough times, man, tough times. <laughs> so uh, scale in the X, I'll grab those two, scale in the X. So you guys should be working on the feet. And in fact, I've given you plenty of time to work on the feet whilst I was just distracted with how the stream's going. <laughs> so, oh yes, yes, it's happening. Oh, this is nice. Yeah, that that's a subdivision surface mode. And let's just quickly point that out. If you want to see um, on the subdivision surface, you've got this with cage or whatever it's called, on cage. And it sort of goes on the object. It's quite handy that. And it can be quite nice to model with, but it can cause some weird things. It sometimes confuses you is what I'm trying to say. So watch out for it. Um, so I'll just turn that off for now so it's the same as what most people see. And we've got this at the moment. I think at the back we probably need to, in fact, let's go to Alt-Z. Alt-Z is X-ray mode. You can also get to Alt, uh, where is it? Oh, where's it gone? Oh, sorry, wrong one. Just there. <laughs> X-ray mode just there. <laughs> so I turn that off and on. And then I can see this bit here and press G then Z and bring that down. There we go. I mean, that's that's not too bad, to be honest. That looks all right, doesn't it? Do you stream at Australia time? I don't know what, what would be the best time for Australia time. Give your dog a gold star. He does not deserve a gold star. He was barking and being noisy. That does not deserve a gold star. <laughs> gold for everyone. <laughs> So like shifty, shifty, gg. The Discord link in the description has expired. Oh, that's weird. I keep setting that so it doesn't expire. Um, I better sort that out quickly. So uh, whilst I'm sorting that out, think about um, mirroring for one, mirroring, and then how do you twist them out like this? So you've got to get your feet pointing outwards, okay? And I'll go and sort out the string somehow. Dun, dun. Going on to YouTube. Oh, it's it. Oh, there we go. There's my video. So I got a question. Oh, I'm just going to watch the advert. <laughs> I'm going to actually watch the advert. <laughs> Isn't that stupid? Okay. Uh, what's. Uh, okay. Uh, this is interesting watching myself on stream. Now I need to go to edit. Oh, why can I not? Oh, there we go. Edit video. Then I need to go to the Discord. I can never remember where to get the stream information from. It must be under here somewhere. And there's an invite people. Uh, edit invite and expire never. Right, this should work. Generate new link, copy, put this into the stream. 
and save. Okay, so hopefully all going well. Uh, that should be running all right now. Yeah. Let's just go on here. Oh, just uh, hopefully it's working anyway. Just seeing if that worked in the Discord. Oh, I can see myself doing it in the screen. That's weird. <laughs> My face is frozen though. Oh man, I, I don't look at yourself too much. It's dreadful. <laughs> okay, so the Discord link should be in the description. Hopefully you're working on your feet. All right, let's see how we're getting on. Uh, looking good, looking good. Oh yes, some, they look a little bit like bones. So try and make it a bit more podgy around the middle if you can. Uh, but that's cool. Oh, this with meta balls. Oh, interesting. Very interesting. Uh, <laughs> interesting. This is good. Uh, it's nice and simple, isn't it? That's why we, uh, because the meta balls and sculpting, you get sort of awkward looking feet and it's quite, quite tough to sort out. But just with a subdivision surface modifier, looking good, Patek. Good job. Patek, too. Uh, nice one there, Herschel and the Art Kid. Uh, now you've got to uh, point them outwards. Hercules.art, excellent job. Okay, uh, people are catching up, so let's get there quickly. Let's uh, rotate by the Z and pull it outwards. And then what do I do? I go, I'll just tell you as I go across the mirror. Could have given a gold star there, can I? But, uh, and then choose the object to mirror by. Okay, and we've got sort of, and now we need, probably need to go to side view on our viewport here and just move them up. Doesn't matter if they intersect a little bit, it shouldn't matter too much. Uh, I think we're looking all right from front view as well, aren't we? Now what we might want to do is add a bit. So if I go into edit mode now, I can give them a little bit. Can you see this? These ones are slightly flat at the bottom. So have a think for a moment how I can um, try and get them to sort of flatten out at the bottom. Okay. Uh, so there's more of an edge going around here. Um, yeah. Um, have a think how you do that. So let me know what we would do and how we would do it. There's a second Discord link at the bottom of the social media section of the description. Ah, oh, okay. Um, that, I should have just left that there. <laughs> okay, so um, edge loops, indeed, Lumi. Uh, hopefully I've got the right person. Gold star for you. <laughs> now pull up the bottom face won't work because, I'll just show you, so G then Z. Oh, it sort of flattens it out, but it doesn't flatten it out around the bottom. Now, what are they called when I add a loop cut in uh, to try and sharpen an edge up, which is this edge is sharper than this edge up the top here, which is curved. What's it called when I add that in? It's, it's called a something loop. Uh, there's gold star. Proportional editing, I don't think will work. I mean, it probably would help to get the top face and scale that in a bit just to give it some sort of structure. Yep. Extrude at the bottom and leave it there. Uh, right, yeah, I think we got it. We could we could have beveled, um, but it would add. It's a little bit easier to do it with the edge loop, I think. And it's called Leandro Cas Casagrande. Is that right? Uh, Casagrande, or perhaps a support loop, indeed, or a proximity loop is another word for it. So uh, Leandro Casagrande, I think. So if I press Control R now, can you see how it's supporting and bringing down? The bottom so we've got more of a flat base and then we got uh, something that re resembles them slightly and we could certainly take this a bit further inset we could have inset I mean there's there's bevel loop cut and inset would all have worked yeah um, indeed now I think to get this working a bit better we probably need a, a loop cut down here now watch what happens to my shape when I add a loop cut down here so I need to do a cut down the middle in order to get this sort of um, indent there. But remember, there's it's adding a proximity loop. So uh, it's going to sort of squish out my shape. I'll undo that. Can you see it now? And then um, Control R, add a loop cut, and it pushes my shape out. So this is still a proximity loop in a way. If I oh, undo that. Okay, um, also I need to sort of, I can just bevel this. I'll do, and you can use your wheel. Control B will bevel. And then I can create, I suppose I can do a bevel like this and have a line in the middle. I'm probably upping the polys a bit too much, but then we can just grab these two. This is the easy way. And G then, if I press, what is it? Y, Y now. Uh, why did I press Y twice and what's that mean? 
Why am I pressing Y twice and what does it mean? And I'll just move this back whilst we're doing that. G, then Y twice. And they're sort of like those, aren't they? Not quite there. Why did I do it twice? <laughs> Fruit Loops. <laughs> Is that right? Uh, you see, I'm, I must be getting my thing in the wrong order. Uh, so, Bayo Ngoyen, uh, you can have a gold star as well. <laughs> uh, I could use the knife tool, but remember with the knife tool, you have to be a little bit careful of um, the uh, topology. Uh, yes, indeed, it's local axes. And according to me, Asthalus got it first, so you can have a, oh no, Pez, sorry, local Y, uh, you got it first, sorry, Asthalus, <laughs> uh, Pez, so local Y, uh, so you've got a gold star, <laughs> people are killing each other for gold stars now, <laughs> um, but yes, so there's local access, remember, if I press N on my toolbar, and go to view, it is, uh, item isn't it item but I need to be in um, right let's go to object mode and item there we go uh, we can see that the, there's a, it's got a rotation so it's got a local y-axis that it's moving when it's these are rotated so I can press y twice to get to that local y-axis it's a bit confusing to understand that as a beginner so don't panic if you don't understand it <laughs> my first gold star <laughs> oh you lucky you it was again important it's, it's it goes to people's heads sometimes the gold stars and um, you want to spend the money fast and we probably need some sort of system for maybe dishing them out section by section because there's, there's so much money in those gold stars <laughs> I, I'm sorry uh, I'm not as funny as I think I am I know I know I'm not so I'm gonna stop now stop being silly right I think we need a bit more shape so let's uh, grab that around here I don't know why I've gone into this view for I think it was because it had proportional no um, um, x-ray mode on so I could see what was going on. Let's turn that back to front view again. One. And do our editing in here. So I've just given it a bit more shape. Now, what I will show you for this one. Um, can you see how we've got extra topology at the back here? And we're not really seeing that. In fact, do I show you this? Because it gets a bit complicated at this point. <laughs> um, and you can. You can reduce this topology. And I'm thinking of the best way to do that. Probably, um, well... This is one way of reducing it. You can use the knife tool and cut it up here and across here and back down there. And press enter and the same the underside. It's OK. Knife tool across there, there, there and there. Oh, it's a little bit tricky to find the edge. It turns um, it's sort of a different color green when you find the, the point. OK, this is a bit more advanced. You don't need to panic about this or worry about it. But now I can actually remove some of this topology. So this edge loop here one and two and three and four i can press Control x to dissolve the edges and can you see i've still got quads but i haven't got all that extra topology and i can get rid of this one this one this one and this one and press Control x to dissolve those and that, like i say again still got quads but uh, we haven't got all that extra, extra topology that we don't need ta-da how about that eh i mean we could even be naughty at this point and uh to bring this one uh, GG in, ooh, GG edge slide into the middle here, like that. Uh, it creates anomalies around here, but because we're not going to really see it, uh, we could sort of get away with that. Um, but I'm not going to do that because it's just it's not necessary. Okay, so the, a bit of um, topology understanding there. Don't panic if it's not making sense, but it's what you can do uh, later on when you get a bit more skilled, just like me. Oh yes, just like me. What are gold stars for? Well, uh, you, they're, they're Gavit currency. Uh, really important, uh, making waves in the um, currency markets right now. Uh, they're, they're pointless. Yeah, they're like, they're like stickers. I'm being a silly teacher and having a joke. I'm probably taking it a bit too seriously though. And people are actually starting to think, what on earth are these gold stars for? I'm quite excited about getting one. But in reality, it really isn't worth it. Uh, okay, so I, I'm going to... G, oh, I'm going to grab these. Why am I not grabbing them all? That's weird, isn't it? That is weird. That is strange. Not sure. I've, that is odd because it's not actually in x-ray mode. But I can see, yes, what am I doing there? Anyway, that's x-ray mode now. Now I can grab them all. Okay, I'm just going to G then 
shift xx that should be not moving in its local x-axis so that was a bit confusing but I thought I'd show you that as well uh, so I didn't move it from side to side here which is the local x-axis so a couple of things a little bit tiny bit more advanced again don't panic if you don't understand those things because it's, it's really not important okay so let's bring back our object oh uh, what did I press oh it's, it's there isn't it <laughs> forget forget it's on the on the screen uh, I was gonna say on the board then doing my proper teacher stuff <laughs> I'll happily kill for a gold star <laughs> Okay, yeah, how are we doing? We can probably get some rigging. We're doing texturing next, and then we'll try and get to rigging. We'll see how we go. Have the stocks on gold stars gone up recently? Ah, Gabbit gold stars, only Gabbit gold stars. I mean, obviously, yes. Other gold stars, you know, rip-offs and, um, yeah, Blender Guru stars, they're not the same. They're, they're, for some reason, they don't have the same currency. Okay, so forward slash on my numpad to go into isolation mode, as it's called. Uh, just having a look around and making sure my shape looks awesome. It looks a bit too front heavy, so I'm just in top view, so seven on this one. I'm going to bring this around. It's got mirror by object, so he's going to go around there. I think that's a bit better. Yeah, that's a bit more like it. And in Trapdoor, the series, it was quite cool. Um, I'll go back to uh, other people's work in a second. Uh, his feet sort of moved. So if I go to pose mode, oh, where is it? Ah, I'm in uh, right pose mode. Uh, they sort of, uh, where are we? They sort of just moved like this. I mean, the weights are awful, and they just moved like that really quickly, and it looked really cool and cute. So, yeah, you, you just wait. You just wait. Okay, how are we getting on? How are we getting on? Oh, look at what, what's happened to Jeremy Notes. <laughs> Loving it. Oh, happy. <laughs> okay, this, uh, yep, so we got up to about here, didn't we? Um, yeah, looking good. Muscular Burke there, looking good. And a nice one from Andredge. Uh, we haven't seen you yet, so good job. Oh, I just clicked on it by accident. Uh, I probably did. I probably did to go back and do this later. <laughs> uh, yeah, uh, it, I think it's looking good. That's not looking good. Oh dear, is that what I look like at the moment? Oh dear me. <laughs> it's not nice to look at yourself, really. Blender. Hey, I, I, I'm saying happy birthday and everything. And then this happens. Give me the nodes, Grant. And no one will get <laughs> The nodes are coming very shortly. Uh, looking good, looking good, looking good. So I ought to shout out, actually. Akinim, Frank Drebin, you probably want to do a loop cut and pull it up um, so that we've got a bit more solidity so he's not really thin at the top there. I don't know why I scrunched my shoulders because I didn't get thin when I did that. <laughs> Hopefully that went. Um, Grant Abbott, why did you choose this name? Uh, is that my name is Grant Abbott? <laughs> I'm not sure what you mean by that. Uh, <laughs> I'm just seeing what other people are saying. Yep, we're all good. Oh, my screen's gone weird again. Uh, okay, so um, why are my feet like this? Ah, that's because you mirrored, but you haven't mirrored around uh, the object. So remember, uh, so on my mirror, so my mirror here, if I close this, then, although it just mirrors on itself actually, but if I get my picker and choose the uh, the body, then it mirrors using the center point of the body, which is actually in the center of our scene, so that's quite handy. Okay, so use that pipette, or color picker, or whatever you want to call it, um, just there on the body, okay? <laughs> you feel old already. How old are you? Sorry, I, I missed your age, actually. I would have sang it into the song somehow, but um, I got distracted and everything. <laughs> uh, okay, so uh, just the eyes next, isn't it? Uh, they're nice and easy. Uh, so make sure you're doing the eyes. Uh, let's just quickly go back to the stream because I hadn't quite finished going through them all. Um, so work on the eyes next. Try and get them as good as Minato 200. And uh, he's got a cool sword and everything. Good work, excellent. Oh, he's got sort of a pear shape to him. I like it. He's got an old pear shape. <laughs> That's got a pear shape for me. <laughs> oh no. Oh, what's happened to him? Oh no. It's a good idea to make it yourself. In. I think something went wrong. <laughs> Definitely. It's looking cool though. I quite like it. I mean, that's what we could do. We could uh, start sculpting and go to town. Uh, Dorian Dabani or Dabani, looking good. Try and uh, turn your feet outwards. So point outwards. 
um, Malam or however you pronounce it. Uh, it's nice to see you. I got to go and finish a paper. No problem. Just seeing if JB blend. Ah, thirty-four today. I was trying to just trying to find where it was. Um, good stuff. Thirty-four. It's a good age that is. <laughs> right. Let's bring this down. Do some eyes quickly. So shift right click, shift A to add, and we're going to add a UV sphere. UV sphere for a reason. Now it's quite a big UV sphere in terms of the size, but also the um, segments and things. So you've got to think, what do we really need? And I would say actually maybe tw twenty. Let's have a look at twenty. That looks alright to me, and then maybe 12 looks alright to me. Always divisible by 4, and uh, that's thinking about mirroring um, later on. But I think we can get away with that sort of size, possibly. Uh, now we can scale it down, because remember we're, we're thinking of game engines, and actually it's probably still too big, so I'm going to undo that. Because you can't, well, as soon as you scale it, you can't change those settings. So Control A, uh, UV Sphere, and can we go to 16, and then maybe 8. So it's, it's blocky, but let's see. When we make it small, it doesn't look so blocky. And then we can rotate X 90 because I want this end pointing towards us. Let's go to front view. Well, I suppose we've got front view over here, haven't we? Uh, let's use that uh, G about there. And we use the mirror again. Might as well, rather than trying to put it into place by hand, get the mirror, use the pipette, and there we go. And now we can start sort of lining them up by pressing G. And if we go to the eyes up here, you can see they're very close together. This one's better. And they're actually overlapping really slightly. About there and about there. Oh, maybe there. <laughs> okay. Uh, always look, it probably needs it going back a little bit. G, then Y. There we go. Ta-da! He looks cute, doesn't he? Looks looking cute. Actually, his eyes are bigger in the thing, so... And that's why it's good to use mirror because it will change the other one automatically and move it around automatically. So me. About there, I think. Looking good. Um, so trying to get to this point and then let's go through some colouring in. <laughs> so I'm going to call it. Um, I'm thinking his bum looks a bit weird. So I'm just going to edit that a bit. Grab these two. Yeah, side view. Grab these two here. And then G then Y. And just move them in a bit. Hmm, G then Y. I might grab these bottom two and G then Y and move them back, not give them that weird sort of shape that he had. Somewhere around there. I mean, we don't really have a back view of him. Do we? No, we don't, so there we go. Tree, please show you how you join the hand to the body, I mean the, the arm to the body. I'll do that towards the end, if that's all right. Uh, we'll get people colouring in first and then I'll maybe talk about that in a moment. The foot is looking like a bun. Actually, my feet aren't looking great, are they? I'm not liking those. They probably need to... I mean, this proximity loop maybe needs to just GG and go up a little bit. I mean, it, it's tricky, isn't it? Tricky, tricky. Yeah, it's looking a bit blocky, isn't it? Right, I'm going to go in there. Meh. Yeah. Yeah, anyway, I shouldn't spend too long on that. I could spend ages, can I? Okay, so colouring in. Uh, for this, we go to the shading option. So we'll start with the body. Okay, so we'll start with him. And obviously, we want to right-click Shade Smooth. So he's nice and smoothed out like this. Okay, so right-click Shade Smooth. In fact, we can do that for all of it. So select all, right-click Shade Smooth. And that's all nice and smooth. Lovely. Now across the Shading tab over here. Okay, into Shading tab. Let's bring up the... Actually, I suppose... Uh, which one do I... I can bring it in here. Actually, yeah, we don't need that. So I'm going to bring this down and uh, change this to the image editor and bring back our useful Burke stuff. There he is. And uh, I'm going to get rid of these windows. We don't, we don't really need to use them. So I'll right click there, join areas, and move the arrow over there. So my mouse changes when I go to the middle of the two windows and right click, join areas, and move my mouse over. Okay. Got a nice lot of space there. To be honest, he's upright, so I should have. To be fair, let's let's do it um, as I would do it. But uh, ho hopefully, this won't get confusing. You can leave it like this if you want to. You can leave those windows there if you want to. But let's be sensible and right-click, join areas, and join these two, 
and then bring out one like this it would make more sense. And then I'll change this up here to the shader editor because he's upright, isn't he? He's portrait, I should say. So we don't uh, need, and we don't, we don't have a huge node tree. So I'll press N and bring these over here. That's what your node should look like. Let's just find a base color. So I think we can click on this and then click and color pick. I mean, that's a nice easy way, but surprisingly, you're, it, it's not that easy to find the color you want because he's shiny, so he's reflecting light. So you might find you'll get a variety of blues and it's actually probably better to maybe pick and then just do it by eye. So find a very sort of flat color, sort of like there, which hasn't got too much light on it. Somewhere around there. And then just edit it slightly as you see fit. Now it's way too shiny at the moment and that's causing a problem. So we'll bring up the roughness quite a lot, maybe about 0.8 by the looks of things. I mean, it's tricky to say. He is still shiny though, isn't he? So maybe down a little bit. Uh, about there, I would say. He's not as shiny as he is there, which, and there's a reason for that. And I'll come into that in a bit. Okay, so uh, working on that color. So um, you should, yeah, so when you click on an object, uh, you can press new up here if you didn't get my nodes. I think I rushed that a little bit, didn't I? Um, so yeah, press new and you'll get the nodes that I've got, which I've got here. So whatever object you've got clicked on. And these ones need to share the same one as him. So I can select these, select these, and select that one last. You see this popped up when I selected it last because that's the active object. So it's saying for the active object, this is the material. And I'm gonna call this uh, blue um, Play-Doh or Play-Doh or Plasticine it was back in the day. A blue clay texture, indeed, that's what we're looking for. Um, so uh, now I, with those selected, remember the, the one you wanna copy from last, we can press Control L and then Materials and then they all share that material. Okay, um, so we're gonna, oh, thank you very much, uh, Chirayu, Chirayu. That's very kind of you, much appreciated. Uh, so, um, my sound didn't go. <laughs> uh, let's see how people are getting on first and then we'll go on to a bit Ooh, of node wow, thank editing. Thank you very much. So we got uh, Minato there looking good. Uh, Nomic, that's quite an interesting shape and you've joined them together, it's all joined together. Nice work, I like it. Okay, let's put that out the way. And right, let's concentrate on our character. Let's uh, he just looks a little bit misshapen, doesn't he? He looks like he's leaning backwards a bit, not sure. Oh, and there's Hercules art just popped in there. Look at that, good stuff. Okay, so we want to do a bit of a node setup to get something looking cool. So uh, first of all, I think we need a bump into the normal map. So following along, Shift A to add, of course, you can go up to Where's my menus? Uh, not that it matters. I'm not sure I want the menus anyway, but it should be, yeah, that's weird. Oh, they're right at the top there. I was expecting them along here for some reason, add, but I never do it like that. Shift A to add, uh, texture and noise. We're gonna use a noise texture. And uh, we obviously can't plug this straight into the normals because this will happen. Something will happen, oh dear. I'm just gonna save my work. <laughs> File, save as toot two. Okay, so uh, yeah, so this happened. Oh, it's taken a moment to save there. Uh, and it just looks pretty dreadful. And that's because our normals aren't me are meant to be like this. Okay, what we have to do in order for uh, this bump to go into the normals, which is sort of like the bumpiness node, we need to press Shift A to add. And we're gonna add in a vector bump, vector bump. So um, I'm just gonna go through that very quickly. Vector is, um, yeah, sort of 3D space, isn't it? Um, but in here you've got a normal map, which you'd use if you have one of those sort of um, bluey colored maps. Uh, but we're using a bump map because this is black and white data that we're bringing into the bump. And then we've got a blue to a blue. So that's gonna work. It's not gonna change anything at the moment. As you can see, this is nothing going into the bump. Now, if I bring the factor into the height, factor is the black and white information. I'll just go through that. So if I press Control Shift left click on this, it will take it into a viewer node and we can see exactly what the noise is doing. If I press Control Shift again, it will take it through the color into the viewer. So there's a color version of the noise texture and there's a black and white. And you can see I'm flicking between the two there with Control Shift. Okay, um, now for Control Shift to work, everybody's silent on the chat now. Hopefully I'm still streaming. <laughs> <laughs> I was really glued to this. Um, for Control Shift to work, um, you must have 
Edit Preferences, Add-ons, type in Node, the Node Wrangler installed. Really important that. What about a converter node? And what about a converter node? Not sure. Uh, that's not how I'm doing it. <laughs> I haven't used the converter node for this before. Uh, so Node Wrangler ticked. When you uh, close this down, it will always be there now. Um, so fast was it, sorry. Um, that probably is a bit quick. Um, uh, I mean, it's difficult to find the pace for lots of different people. So if you're a complete beginner, it might be uh, a bit too quick, yeah. Um, perhaps I should go through the whole thing again. I think maybe that's, uh, how, how are other people uh, coping? Uh, let me know if you'd like me to repeat the process. Instead of the bump node to remove color info. Oh, the, the factor is removing the color info. It's black and white information from the factor. Oh, that looks good, Andrej. Um, I'll bring that up. So let me know if you want me to do that process again, if you're a bit confused. Uh, I'm behind, wait up. Uh, super. <laughs> so this viewer node, um, just for explanation, it, it gives the information just straight from this into the material output. I'm pretty, I suppose I am rushing this a little bit. I'm assuming some knowledge. Um, yeah, it's, it's a tough one. It's a tough one. Hello all, is this still a live cast? Yes. <laughs> yes, Bradley Reynolds. Uh, you are you are live. <laughs> How do you get the spheres with the sky on the left here? Uh, that's um, uh, the EV. So, oh yeah, um, you must be in EV. But you should be in EV anyway when you go across the shader mode. Uh, don't be in solid mode like this. Go to EV there. Following along, good. Image texture node versus normal map node for normals. Uh, so the image, yeah, you have to go into a bump node uh, if you want to take black and white information or, or color information, actually. It will just convert it into black and white information. And the bump node will change that with the height input. So think gray to gray. I've got three monitors. <laughs> You can rewind. I suppose that's a good point. Um, broadcast is on time delay. Well, I suppose, yeah, there is a delay. <laughs> uh, I'll look at your Instagram. Remind me and uh, put it into the Discord, your uh, Instagram, a link to your Instagram. Uh, Chirayu. That'd be cool. So how to bring this viewer node? Yep, so uh, that's, it's, you must uh, edit preferences, add-ons, uh, node wrangler. Make sure that's installed. Just search node wrangler and tick it. And then control uh, left, uh, sorry, control shift, hold control shift, left click. And that's what the bump looks like at the moment, uh, which doesn't make much sense. That's what the principal BSDF looks like. See, they're all plugging into the material output into the surface. And don't worry about the volume and displacement for now. A surface is all you want to worry about. So noise texture, that's going into this viewer node, into the surface, and you must have a viewer node. You can't, well, actually you might be able to go straight into the surface with these. Yes, you can, uh, but viewer nodes uh, is the way the node wrangler does it. And it's quite quick to do it as well. You don't have to hook things up like this. Um, but yeah, there's the bump, principal BSDF, noise, and they all go through this viewer node. Principal BSDF gets rid of it and sort of puts it back to normal. Hopefully this is making sense. So node wrangler, yep, node wrangler, control shift click if you have node wrangler. Okay, so let's actually set up and see what the bump's gonna look like. So I put the factor into the height and that's what the bump looks like. Pretty horrendous, not so great. Okay, and there's a few things we can do to sort it out. Okay, so um, I'm realizing now that maybe this is going a tiny bit more advanced than, I suppose it, it doesn't matter too much because um, you can watch and uh, follow along the best you can. Uh, and uh, the next time we do this for the next character, whatever it might be, um, you'll, you'll just pick these things up slowly. Um, the feet look sad, it looks dreadful at the moment. Uh, BSDF, what does it stand for again? Can't remember, <laughs> can't remember. <laughs> Um, but um, yeah, you'll, you'll pick it up slowly um, as, you, you, as you see more of this and just try and get comfortable with it, play with it. It might go completely wrong. Put it on the stream if it goes wrong on the Discord and then maybe I can help you out as to how it should hook up. <laughs>
okay um, but it, I mean this should be there and how it should be looking um, okay so um, the problem I'm having is uh, two things one I didn't scale my objects um, so I didn't set their scale so I'm gonna do that now I'm gonna select these lot I'm not selecting the eyes because we don't need that at the moment and control a to set their scale before I do that though I'll show you what that does so there's the scale and for this it's at one for these it's um, it's uniform at least but it's it's not how it should be so it's can you see the scale for these is slightly different to the base uh, or his body and this is a different scale as well so I can set them all to one so let's first see if that makes a difference I can't remember it does in this case um, no it doesn't make a difference so they're all now at one uh, that will but it will make a difference when I add in my texture thingamajiggy in here which will make sense in a second he's been in a bath too long well what you can do is there's a strength setting here and bringing it down 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 I think it went to somewhere around 0.1 to 0.2 0.1 and already he's looking the body I'm concentrating on that's looking plasticine and right so I think we're getting there not too bad is it and I think there's you don't really need to go that far with this and it looks okay um, but it's not working for the feet or the arms and that's to do with the way this is mapped onto our texture so um, I mean if I press control shift left click again to sort of see the noise we've got more noise here more detailed noise than we have on the base and that's to do with understanding the different sizes so control shift left click on the principal BSDF we'll turn it back to how it should be so that's how you get back from uh, the viewer node to where you were originally control shift left click okay so uh, what we'll need to do is we need a mapping node for this to know how it's being mapped from a 2D object, which this noise texture is, it's just a 2D object, into a 3D object. So if I press on this, with the Node Wrangler installed, it must be installed for this to work, the add-on Node Wrangler. So Edit, Preferences, Add-ons, Node Wrangler. Uh, if I go Control t it brings up this information. First the, vec the mapping information, and then the texture coordinate, and that's the most important one. Because at the moment it's coming from what's called Generated, and that doesn't really take into account the um, objects well it does take into account the object size but we don't actually want that we want it from the object and it should even itself out so there's more bump but it's the same bump on each of our objects and that's what we want so we just literally change from generated to object so that's the mapping node and the texture coordinates and I'll just do that again in case that was confusing so we're onto the noise texture onto this noise texture and these obviously are going from left to right so we're going from a noise to a bump into this cool node, the principal BSDF, with the normals, which are the bumpiness, into the material output. So we're figuring out how the textures are placed on here. Control T is the mapping node and then the texture coordinates. And often you'll use you'll use one of three, I would say, generated, UV, or object. Generally, uh, in this case, we haven't got any UVs, uh, and that's sort of unwrapping, and we'll go on to that another time. Did we do that another time? Yeah, we did in the previous episode, didn't we? Um, but for the moment, we're going from object into the thing into the mapping node, and that will even all these out, so they have the same noisiness. And now we can change the scale of our noise and put it up a bit. Not sorry, down a bit. Excuse me. Uh, and we should get a bit closer to our special thingamajiggy here. Um, I would say maybe. I mean we. I don't really want to go much further than this, but if you wanted really looking good, because in here you can sort of see there's sort of minor noise that's lighter than this noise. This is sort of like big bumpiness, and then there's minor bumpiness, and it gets very confusing, and you can mix nodes together. Perhaps perhaps I should show that anyway, but um, just keep it simple for now. Keep it like this. I think that looks all right, in my opinion. Then maybe the strength needs to come down a touch. So I'm just going to put it. type in 0.1. And it's got a quite a nice plasticine look. Now, at this point, I think it's a good idea to think about the roughness. We might have the roughness nice, right, but it's got some shininess, shininess there. And with the help of the noise, you can sort of see how that shininess is working. That looks pretty plasticine-y with a roughness of 0.63, if, um, if you're sort of following along in this way. Okay, so let's see how we're doing. Oh, that is a bug, <laughs> to be honest. Okay, uh, 90 minutes late, but moving fast. Well done, Getsy. Nice work. Oh, there's another one up here. So I'll just go through these quickly. Hey, a bit of rigging. Yay, that's nice as well, Andredge. Well done. Uh, 
that's nice work barbara and I th is, did you say this is your first time <laughs> doing very well uh add a second to noise texture and a mix node indeed that's what that's the way to do it yeah that's just the way to do it don't, don't know why i did that i'm going getting tired obviously uh right so why is this purple ah you've got no material output so if you get lost let's um there's two things you can do uh i'm just gonna the the, the easiest way is to start again because actually it can be quite awkward um, and you can start again up here you can just press the cross thing and then start a new one okay um, but for this i'm actually gonna select the blue play-doh oh a blue blue play go play go that's what they used to use they sometimes use play-doh but play go was better it's gabbit gabbit dough is go <laughs> uh obviously i've just spelled it wrong um uh yeah and you can uh just start again that way or you can press shift a to add and search for the node so uh material output is just there and i've got a second material output and now it's gone all black because i've clicked on it which material output do you want me to use and this one's got nothing going into it, so I'll delete that and we're back to normal. Hopefully that makes sense. Uh, Barbara Kane, first time. That's pretty cool for a first time, it's got to be said. Uh, doing very well. Uh, okay. Uh, <laughs> uh, how are we all doing? Uh, the, the, I'm looking at the analytics and the, uh, the, um, the stream health is healthy, so that's good. You're all keeping up, so that's nice. I think we've had a few drop-offs there. <laughs> okay, so um, I think we can take this a little bit further. I'm going to duplicate this, Shift D to duplicate. And then we can plug this into the color. So we've got the color here, and we can plug it into the color. But, wait for it, it takes about half an hour. Surprisingly long, actually. There we go. And the color has changed. So I, somehow I need to go from this noise texture and use the black and white information, ideally, to um, affect some colors, to give it some color variation. Goodness me, this is slow, isn't it? Why is it being so slow? Hmm, don't know. Just seeing if everybody's all right. Yeah, good. Okay. Um, I just love your voice, man. Thanks, uh, Ritik Kumar. Appreciate that. Okay, so we've got to use the noise um, factor to affect some colors. There's a couple of ways of doing this. I think the color ramp is the best. So we'll go... Uh, shift A to add, down to converter, you can do it with color and mix RGB. So I'll show you the both ways, color and mix RGB. And let's say we've got, um, I'll just, yeah, so uh, we'll select a color here, use the color picker and select a color and use the color picker again and select a different color. So we've got two very slight variations of color. We can come into the factor. Now the factor is the black and white information and the whites are the top one, aren't they? I'm forgetting now <laughs> the whites are the top one and the blacks are the uh are the bottom one so from this this uh you can see there's white there black there and then we go into this there's not enough difference between the two so i'll just give it a bit more difference so you can sort of see i'll, I'll make it a different color for now so you can see the whites are the yellow bits at the bottom so the yellowy i'll make them more yellow there we go and the blacks are the blues Okay, so from a noise factor, you're, we're using black and white information and bringing it into the factor here to, to um, control those two. Okay, so if I change this now to a blue, and uh, that's what it's going to look like. So we'll go now back into the base color. Oh, sorry, I can just control right click there. Control shift left click, that's what I'm trying to say. God, this takes a while to update at the moment. Maybe it's because I'm recording at the same time or something. God, my hair does look good. I keep glancing down and it's looking more and more grey as I go along with this stream. <laughs> okay, so we've got a tiny bit of colour variation there. Can you see a tiny bit? We can up the scale of this. I think that deserves upping the scale a bit. Can you see that colour variation? From about here, is it working? It's not great, actually. I think this is a bit too purpley, so I'm going to bring that back and just a bit closer. So there we go, a bit of colour variation, and it's looking a touch like plasticine. There's way more we can do, and you can go complete node meltdown uh, if you like. Uh, maybe a touch darker, maybe. There we go. Uh, less scale. Somewhere around there. It's not looking too bad, is it? Not looking too bad. Okay, let's see how we're getting along. 
Um, we are sort of running out of time now for the two hours that I usually give it. Yeah, so hopefully that's sorted out, Petek 2. Um, yeah, no output, no, well done. In in Incognito. That's quite a cool name, actually. Incognito. I love it. Uh, 90 minutes late for moving fast, seeing that. Um, yep, good, but no colour and no noise. It fixed itself. Yeah, that's a bug. Uh, that all looks fine to me. So, yeah, it looks like, I mean, it, uh, well, it fixed itself. So, ah, I see what you mean. Sorry, there. Yeah, it takes a while to, for a, um, it, which is weird, actually. It seems to be taking ages. And I was, I think I was noticing that the other day as well. And I was wondering why. These are looking good, aren't they? Uh, Hercules Art, nice work. Akinim. And Minoto, this is looking cool, isn't it? Muscle Man, Commander Cancer. Commander Cancer. Uh, whoa, this one's looking cool, isn't it? Look at that cool frog character. This one's great there. Love it. <laughs> looking awesome, guys. Looking awesome. Probably a little bit wavy on the noise, which I think is the... Wait for it. Uh, that's the distortion, isn't it? If you turn the distortion up, you get that sort of wavy look. I mean, maybe a tiny bit of waviness for our plasticine might work. But then I think we need to bring the strength down a little bit. It's interesting. Sometimes uh, when you change these things, 0 0.0... Five. We'll try that. Uh, they, they, the, the effect is suddenly more prominent, but maybe a bit of waviness and distortion. I'm kind of liking that. Nice, nice shout on that one. Good work. Uh, back to this card. Yep. He looking a bit. Uh, it's a little bit too purple, so bring it back. I think. Oh, look at him. He looks hilarious. <laughs> and with a bit of distortion on those, well, good. It's cool, isn't it? It's cool. It's always great fun uh, seeing people's results. It is hilariously fun. Uh, hopefully you're all still enjoying it. Oh, that's interesting. Um, did it, did the stream cut out at any point, or are we all all right? Because it's saying it cut out for ten minutes, or oh, I don't know whether it did. I think it's just cut out from the analytics. Yeah, I think we'll have to keep the rigging for another time. Maybe next week. Would people like to see that next week? Doing some rigging. Let me know. Um, okay, so let's just quickly go back. And last thing then, the last thing is the eyes. Uh, yep, it will be on my channel, the um, tutorial. I'm just having a look at what people are saying. Oh, video quality drops. That's all right. Cool. That's good to hear. Okay, so last thing with the eyes. Now, remember, I'm going to shade flat so we can see. Remember I rotated them. So rotate your eyes if you haven't already. Uh, and that's kind of important because um, I think it's much easier to shade the eyes when they're pointing this way. So if I go into edit mode now, tab into edit mode, and uh, select faces, and deselect all with Alt A to deselect all, I can then circle select and select that middle bit there. You can also box select uh, just by box selecting like that. Um, I won't rig though. <laughs> oh, you're back. Uh, is it Malam? Oh, is it Ma -wan -nam? <laughs> I'm not sure how you pronounce that one. Um, yeah, so we want to give this black and the rest of it white. So uh, there's, I will give it a new texture, so new texture, not texture, new material. And for some reason I can't see it, so press home and that'll take you back to your nodes. It's really useful that. So if you can't see your nodes, but there says the material, I'm going to change this to I. And you can't see your nodes, you press home and it centers around. Um, if you click on one node and press full stop, that will focus on that one node. Okay, so we want white for our eyes, that's great, but we want black for this middle bit here. Now there's a really easy way to do this. And uh, you have material slots up here. You can, you've got down here as well, you've got materials down here and you've got your slots up the top here and you've got eye material there. We can add a slot there or we can add a slot here. They're both the same as you can see. So add just there. And uh, oh, and then I can press new here or new there. You can see they're the sort of same thing. So this is this down here is the same as the nodes. Okay, just in case you didn't know. I went a bit quickly there as well, didn't I? I'm sort of starting to get a little bit tired. So I'm sort of speeding up a bit for some reason. I'm also conscious of the time, but I think we're going to be fine. Um, so for this one, this is going to be black. I'll just call it black because it's the eye pupil. But we've got eye and black. So at the moment, it's all the shape has got just the eye because we can see it's white. So if I change, um, ooh, if I go to eye, 
and change it. We've got green eyes, blue eyes, or whatever. Um, we can change this by bringing the saturation down, the value up, and it'll turn back to one. Okay, did that a bit quick as well, didn't I? I'm going really quick. Well, stop, slow down, slow down, man. Yeah, what's the biggest project you've ever done so far in Blender? A good question, actually. Let me have a think about that. Um, I've done a lot of medium sized ones, but uh, yes, we're live. <laughs> David uh, McNeese. Okay, so I want to make this center bit black. I've got them selected. So what we can do is I can just click on this black bit here and there's an assign button. So I'll press assign, but nothing's happened because I haven't actually changed this black material to black. So at the moment, if I look, look at eye, there's eye there is white and black as well is black. So if I change this now to black, the middle bit changes because I've got those faces selected and I assigned them to the black material. So this material slot two, as it's called there. Okay. So hopefully that made sense. Um, you can also, there's quite a few useful things. If I deselect everything and press uh, the black and press select, it will select the faces that are assigned to that. So if I select the white and press uh, select, it'll select everything because the black one was there first. <laughs> hopefully that makes sense. Okay. So we've got a cool looking Burke. Uh, now, if I right click and shade smooth, we're a bit better. Lastly, let's just quickly set up some lighting for him because we've got a few minutes left and then we'll look at people's work. I feel like, yeah, I will make a floor. So shift A to add mesh plane, make a floor for him to stand on. And with this, it's always a good idea to just dig into the feet slightly so you can see the feet underneath there. I think that's about right. Now I'm just going to move the cursor. So control shift right click, I'm <laughs> forgetting myself. Will you rig it too? Hopefully, but in the next session. <laughs> will you please laugh at my jokes on the meme channel? No one else will. I, I haven't visited the meme channel for a little while. Ah, now we are dropping off a bit. So um, obviously I'm, we're starting to flag a little. So that, that's a good time to finish. So uh, just lastly, um, across the render tab, so we can make it look a bit nicer. And uh, we've got the renders here which has our light in as well. And we got look dev here, which doesn't really take into account our lighting information fully. Uh, we'll, we'll switch to the render. Uh, and I think it will help to, helpful to have an HDRI in the background. So we can go in our shader editor over here or down at the bottom for you, perhaps we can change from object to world. And here's our background. So I can change the background now, make it a bit lighter would help, but an HDRI gives it a really nice natural look. Um, so if you don't know already, you can go to HDRI Haven. Let's just quickly bring that up. HDRI Haven. There we go. And you can choose some HDRIs. HDRIs are, stands for High Dynamic Range Image. So it can give off light information. It's really useful. So there's some HDRIs and we can go for, I don't know, probably indoor, isn't it? Maybe even studio lights. And we could grab one of these and just download them. You don't need a high... Um, uh, resolution one, just go for a low resolution, it will render faster and that'll be fine. So that's HDRIs. So I've got a folder of them. So if I press shift A in here, texture and then environment texture, not an image texture, that's what you might get confused with environment texture and then press open and find your HDRIs. Here's my folder full. Just grab that one machine shop and hook it up. And then we've got a machine shop in the background, but it's also giving off light. So we should see that from this area here, we get more light on our object. It's a bit confusing at the moment. I'll just press my overlay so I can see my other light and just get rid of it. Okay. So we've got a bit of uh, light coming from there, a bit of light coming from there that gives it this cool look. There's not many shadows though. Let's bring the ambient occlusion on. So now we've got a bit of ambient occlusion there and turn it up. There we go. And now he's looking cool, isn't he? Looking cool. Perhaps some screen space reflections as well. Just tick that, that's fine. And you'll get a few reflections off your plasticine or Play-Doh or Play-Go if you're following along with me. <laughs> okay, so that's probably the best place to leave it, I think. Um, yeah, probably is. Right. Uh, yes, we probably will rig it. When is the next session? Okay, the next session of this where we'll rig, we'll do next Wednesday then. Okay, so we'll do some rigging next Wednesday and have a bit of fun with that. Uh, on Friday, I'll be doing a stream where I I'll be explaining what I'm doing, but I won't be, it won't be a follow along and that's doing a character. We're sort of, um, most of the way through now the modeling stage, still got bits and pieces to do. I've got to have a look actually and see what's going on. Uh, now the mouth is a tricky one. I was thinking grease pencil 
uh, was one way of doing it. You could paint it on as well, um, or you could create a object and shrink wrap it to the um, uh, the the mesh. The way you would do that, I'll just quickly show you. Because I was going to show the arm as well. Uh, so shift right click, shift A to add mesh plane, sort of rotate it into position and scale it into position and move it out a bit. Okay, so there's going to be a mouth on him. So I'll just put that there. I mean, we could make this mouth shaped, I suppose. Yeah, right. Scale that down. I'll do that in a second. So, we, we, um, so you put it on top and you can shrink wrap it to this object by using the modifier, add modifier, shrink wrap. It's in the middle there, isn't it? Shrink wrap. And then choose Burke, Burke body. There we go. And it's shrink wrapped on top of my object. Now we can use just above surface. That will help. Uh, and you can offset it with that. So it's just got a little offset, that should help as well. And then um, if I turn snapping on, then I can do a sort of retopology type thing. Um, let's go back to layout mode for this, it'll be much easier. Okay, so uh, let's turn snapping on up here to face mode. Just really quickly going through this so you get the idea. Uh, into edit mode, not, there we go, into edit mode. I'm gonna do on, this. oh yeah, that's fine, on cage, so. Uh, Right, so now it's on the object. I can then um, just make a mouth. I mean, that's way too wide, actually, isn't it? Yeah, way too wide. So let's grab this top. GG. Somewhere around there. I mean, it was, obviously, this is a bit rubbish, um, but it should make sense. So it's shrink wrapping, and then we can shade that in black. And we could even add a subdivision surface modifier to this. So it smooths it out. <laughs> He's got some smiley face then, isn't he? Uh, and yeah, we want the black. We might as well use the, oh, back to object and across to the black texture, there we go. And it's got a really rubbishy mouth that you can move around and you can animate it as well. You could um, do some shape keys with it and stuff as well. Yeah, you could do the knife tool and assign material, but I think this is probably better because then we can move the mouth around. So if I grab the mouth and then G to grab, you can sort of move it around, but you'd have to sort of do use shape keys, like I say, and stuff. We didn't do any sculpting today, no, so you don't need to do any retopper. Re <laughs> yeah, retopper is hard work, isn't it? SoCal local. <laughs> SoCal local. Uh, it's, it's tough going. I mean, that's the basic setup for retopper, what I just did there. Uh, does the magic book contest have to be done in Blender? No, it doesn't. You can use any um, piece of software. Uh, how are people doing? So let's take a quick look at um, the bit of you, or what's you call it, Discord server. Look at all these cool. <laughs> I think we we got up to here, didn't we? Uh, nice work. Oh, this is looking cool, isn't it? Hercules art, Petek two. So let's. Yep, that's that's good. Good job. Reduce the bump. I think that looks better with a reduced bump. Maybe the distortion. I'm not sure the distortion one works, actually. I'm just going to quickly look back at mine. Is it working, the distortion? Actually, no, that's all right. It has to be really subtle, though, doesn't it? It's very subtle, and it's just, it's more to do with the reflections than it is anything else. I suppose that's what bump is, anyway. But you can see it's not really working around here so much. And we could use a noise on top of the noise and all sorts to try and sort that out. It's, it's quite fun, really. Um, yeah, you can go all sorts... Uh, I feel like he's not quite dark enough either. But I suppose on the render, you can also just very quickly color management and uh, we can give it high contrast look and it's a bit closer because they use quite uh, low key lighting effect uh, where they use sort of studio lights and they're quite harsh. And yeah, <laughs> funny stuff. Okay, back to the Discord. It's quite fun, isn't it? Just like the original. <laughs> uh, nice work, Crash. Please do the color ramp solution too. Okay, really quickly. So uh, you could uh, shift A, converter color ramp, and then come into the color ramp and into the base color. And it's probably slightly better the color ramp. If I choose the white at the end here and uh, change it to well that color there, and the black at the end here and change it to that color there, We've got exactly the same, but I've got a bit more control 
is I can use the ramp to sort of decide how much of one color or the other I want. Uh, so we could make it more sort of faded purpley or, or whatever. Yeah, so I prefer the color ramp really, and that's the color ramp solution. Okay, 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 okay. I'm just, it was halfway between okay and okie dokie. Uh, <laughs> but I thought okie dokie might sound silly. Looking good. It's always good to ground them and give them a base, definitely. Good stuff. Petek 2. And Dredge, looking cool. Like little eyebrows. Very nice. Akinim, looking good. Jojo Bear. Jojo Bear. Yeah, that is right. Uh, too lazy today to connect the arms. Yep. Um, oh, that's a good one there. Look at that. That's a good one. Yeah, because that's very similar to Burke. Very nice. Very small thumb, though. That's the only thing. Very small thumb. But I like it. Uh, Dorian the Bunny. The Bunny. Excellent. Delightful work. That looks good, doesn't it? Looking good on the renders. Uh, possibly a bit too much colour difference between your two colours, but it still looks cool. Whoa! <laughs> That's scary stuff. Commander Cancer. Owen Sunny Ray, looking good. So we've got a node set up. It's all happening. Loving it. <laughs> Reach level two. Looking good there as well. Look at that. Just need a bump on that one next. Minnow two. And Barbara, yes, Barbara, nice work. <laughs> for a first time in Blender, that's pretty awesome, isn't it? Look at that. And that's a nice one from Linsky. Excellent work. Any more to come in? Any more to come in? We are actually over time, but never mind. Is there a way to make it look like clay? That's what we've been trying to do. <laughs> As always, it's not so great when. I suppose, um, okay, let, let's try and, we can take this further. We can use another noise texture, Shift D. And uh, we can mix these together. So I'm using a mix node to make, oh, I've got snapping turn. I'm wondering what's going on there. Snapping turn that off. Wait, turn off. Now it's probably going to turn it back on. Oh, okay. And then we can give it some finer noise. And turn that distortion down, up that distortion to zero again. And so we, we've got different things going on here. We can then turn this. Uh, shift A, convert a color ramp, put that into a color ramp to sort of change. God, it's taking ages to update, isn't it? Look at that. What's, what's going on with Blender? Eh? What's going on? We'll get there. And then we can, yeah, so we can change the amounts of distortion in different places, as you can see there. Sort of happening anyway. Yep, and we can then turn, if we think that's coming out too much, we turn this to gray to reduce the amount. And so it's distorting it in different ways. Sort of happening, sort of happening. I think we probably need a Veranoi perhaps in there instead. Let's try that. So let's just have a look at a, a did I haven't, I'm just talking out loud now, but there's um, thinking out loud. Talking out loud is exactly what I'm doing. <laughs> I mean, that could sort of work for divots and things, and we could go into a color ramp for this. So I'll duplicate that color ramp, try that out. So distance and so I'm control shift left clicking to sort of see the results of these I don't want so much black I don't think a little bit smoother like this oh we need to um, add these texture coordinates control T and make sure it's an object in fact I don't need to do that I can hook these ones up oh delete I'm probably going way too quick but I'm just sort of showing what you can do oh where's it going vector sorry Vector, vector. Uh, okay, and then bring the scale right down. Somewhere about there. Let's see what this is going to look like between these two, going into a mix node, then mixing into that node. And then, do you see how this can soon add up uh, into some crazy stuff? So that's what the bump looks like now looking pretty weird i don't think it's going to work actually because i'll just i'm going too quickly and trying to <laughs> see what happens um god it's really taking this time no that didn't work at all did it no, not very good not very good i feel like i suppose we could have done a yeah but yeah i mean uh, th then you can start playing with these you see so think about this one i don't mind that one let's have a look at this one Oh, that one went really odd. Oh, that's, yeah, let's get it now. That's why it looked dreadful. There we go. Now let's see what it looks like. 
dun, 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 dun. is it there? Yeah, so it's a bit more like clay now. Perhaps at this point we can turn the strength up a little bit. It's a teeny bit sharp in places, but yeah, you, you can change the color ramps. It's looking a bit more like clay now, isn't it? <laughs> it's getting there. Possibly a bit more roughness, just a touch. Yeah, I could tinker for hours, and you can with these, um, with these nodes. You can go on for ages and ages and ages. Um, it's probably a bit more discoloration in places as well. Ah, I'm going off on one. <laughs> right, more questions. Uh, thanks, Tyler Dane. Yep, we'll see you on the next one too. Um, yeah, so the next Wednesday we'll do some rigging. So this Friday I'll be doing the character again. Uh, what's going on? Uh, we're making uh, Burke from Trapdoor and we've finished. <laughs> and here are some of the results. So let's see a few more results. Looking amazing. I think, where, where do we get up to? We, yeah, Nin, Ninsky, Hercules art, absolutely fantastic rendering. Are you in cycles then? Uh, probably best not to render in cycles, but you do get a better result rendering in cycles, to be fair. So let's quickly see what cycles would look like. Um, what, one thing that's really cool, if I click on the floor, uh, and I'm going to change it in cycles. So I'm going across the render settings, change the cycles, change the GPU compute, because it uses your GPU then. Um, I might put the color management up to very high contrast. And uh, if I click on the floor and go to uh, object properties and down to viewport display, no, it's not, sorry, not viewport display, visibility, sorry. And there's a shadow catcher. I think that's quite cool. So he's got the floor, but you don't see it. That's great. And then we can use uh, in the render tab, film, transparency, and then you can put him into your thumbnails for your YouTube stream. <laughs> You want to pose him first, though. I feel like he needs to be a bit darker, doesn't he? So I could easily change one of these. Bring the tone down just a touch. But then I probably need to bring the tone down for the other one as well. So you could, like I say, you could tinker for hours with these, couldn't you? Yeah, he needs, to, he needs a bit more. Doesn't he? It's a tricky one. Tricky, tricky. Maybe the HDRI as well. Maybe it needs some firmer lighting, perhaps. Yeah, anyway. Uh, right, so <laughs> you want to see this node tree deal full screen. So control spacebar is full screen. So if you want to play around, so texture coordinate, they're all showing the same one into a Veronoi, a noise texture. Oh, I did that wrong actually. But they should have a mapping node in there as well, but it didn't actually matter. I don't think, yeah, it doesn't matter. Um, this should be how it looks though. It should look like this. In fact, f forget that. Should look like. Right, uh, this. There we go, that's uh, a bit more organized. Uh, what is it to, I can't remember what you do now to give it a um, oh, a node thingy. There we go. That's better. <laughs> Forgot how to put one of those in. Uh, so yeah, they're mixed nodes they are. So you can see them properly and try and get it just in there we go you can pause the screen there can't you <laughs> if you really want this i don't think it's the best example though to be honest <laughs> anyway uh i think that's probably enough isn't it anyway we'll just quickly check if there's any more uh, the daniel coleman nice work I like that one uh i love the eyes uh how the eye how do the eyes look like uh, how do they look <laughs> uh that's good because you've got the bump material on there as well well done uh he looks cool, doesn't he? I like that. Uh, Dorian De Bunny, De Bunny, uh, Kangra Chan. That's cool, isn't it? Uh, shrink wrap on there, nice. That's a really good one. <laughs> it's looking really good. Uh, Herschel and the Art Kid, nice work. This one looks cool as well, doesn't it? Hercules Art, I like the, the base. That looks great. Very nice. Okay, so uh, keep uh, posting them and uh, just uh, because I want to see them. <laughs> um, Grant, you are missing the Discord. Uh, I th well, I think I've made it now. <laughs> uh, thank you very much for joining me. I uh, hope you've enjoyed it. So next time we'll be rigging our character. Um, I suppose I'll put up uh, my one uh, so you can play with it and add the rig to it so we can easily uh, follow along. Oh, the, uh, the HDRI one, I'll quickly show you that then. Yeah, so it's the HDRI. So you go to World up here and the HDRI if I press home, it's just, uh, an, uh, that's an environment texture into the background. That's all you need to do.
<laughs> no problem. Uh, good to see you all here. Thank you very much to those that, uh, uh, where is it? Viewer activity, there we go. Uh, so much appreciated to, it's not gonna tell me, is it? It will tell me on here instead. So we've got uh, uh, Chirayu, uh, Dundell, uh, Zema Paktian, <laughs> uh, the account, blah, blah, blah. I can't see them all actually. It's, there's so many of them. And Sony Horizons. Uh, yes, thank you all for uh, donating. Much appreciated. Uh, brilliant stuff. Uh, what's next tutorial? So the next tutorial, I'll probably get one out tomorrow. Can't remember where I'm up to actually. Is it Node School? Oh, I've got the Fantasy Castle as well. And I really need to get back to the um, uh, get good at Blender. Get good at um, <laughs> Blender. Uh, yep, see you next time. Thanks, Hercules Art, KJ, Space Cookie, uh, Giasomo Rinaldi. <laughs> cool, yeah. You can always yeah watch back. Yep, I'll make sure it goes live on my channel. Tata Lino channel. <laughs> I'll have to give you some noodles. Thank you very much. <laughs> and uh, uh, Milam, Malam, <laughs> bye. Thanks very much, everybody. And I will uh, hopefully see you next time.